They say don't talk race, religion, and politics. At Circle 7 Media, we talk race, religion, and politics. Affairs of men. It's the CNN of hip hop, where we talk politics, news, and all things that are relevant to young black hip hop America. Battle Rap 7. Where is the post-game talk show on caffeine where you can call in and discuss the rap battle you just seen? Both shows air exclusively on caffeine at 7 p.m. every night. That's every night, Pacific Standard Time. Thank you for calling Circle 7 Media. What's your name and where you from? Yeah. Niggas call my phone like holla. They saying Cassidy let Calico hear his rounds for you. I'm like, so? Like, that's going to save him. <laughs> well, at the face-off, I was going to let him hear rounds from my calico. <laughs> I was returning the face. I beat Hitman. He know I beat him. He can act like I'm hating on him. Or he can act like, you know, Hitman don't. Hitman don't look. He don't like me. i really get you killed, Will. Have your mama at the funeral. Like, this don't even feel real. Oh, yeah. my God. Yo, what up, man? Chris, I'm by checking back in, man. Back with another Untold Truth. Make sure you like, share, subscribe to the channel, man. Make sure this video goes everywhere. You know what I'm saying? Please make sure this video goes everywhere. Um, I'm in my element right now, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is the most enjoyment I get out of everything in battle rap. Not recaps, not going to events. It's this right here. When I used to look at, like, what videos were and interviews online i used to think nobody is really doing a documentary nobody is going into the behind the scenes of a lot of these situations man and this is what i get the most enjoyment out so big shout out to hitman holla for that and um just real quick man just real quick i, ju I just want to say this you know because this is like the first untold truth since i've been back i did the norbs untold truth but that was before i got back this is like the first one since i've been back to battle rap man it's a blessing to be back in battle rap you know, I appreciate all the love, the support when I go to events. I definitely appreciate the support. And uh, when I was sitting in jail for two years, bro, I never really knew I'd even be out, let alone able to do these actual kind of videos again. You know what I'm saying? So it's definitely a blessing to be free, to be able to not look over my shoulder no more, to be able to move forward and be positive and just eliminate all the negativity. And um, But I'm never forgetful of... You know what I'm saying? Everything I've been through. I'm definitely not forgetful of that. That's why I got this shirt right on right now. Be you and they'll adjust. You know what I'm saying? Be you and they'll adjust. I'm never going to be everything to everybody. You know what I'm saying? You know, that's a lot of a lot of mistakes I made, a lot of things I wish I could go back and change. But at the end of the day, you know, I'm just trying to stay positive and I'm trying to move forward. And, um, you know, I just set up a visit with an inmate recently. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to get too far off subject, but I, I got to say this. I set up a visit with an inmate recently and, um, no, just an old bunk man I had just seeing how he was doing through the COVID situation in jail. And I'm drinking a can Coke, bro. I don't even buy Cokes. You know what I'm saying? I'm not really a soda drinker. I'm drinking a can Coke. I'm doing a visit, drinking a Coke, doing a visit, get, drinking a Coke. And he was like, yo, is that a Coke? You know what I'm saying? And it just hit me. Like we used to get soda like once a year when we was locked up like on Christmas or something. And it was just like your ability to be able to even go in the store and get what you want to get, eat or drink is a blessing. You know what I'm saying? And it's just a constant reminder of what I left and still a reminder of what people have to go through this in that system, man. So if you got anybody locked up, man, definitely make sure you reach out to them and show them that love and that support. I just had to say that it was on my heart. And um, Hitman Holla Untold Truth. This is the most in-depth Hitman interview ever. He don't do a lot of interviews anyway, but this is the most in-depth interview ever that he will probably ever do. I'm not going to even tell you all the stuff we talk about. This ain't really a, a Cassidy Calico kind of interview. We talk about everything. You know what I'm saying? A lot of behind the scenes stuff, man. This is a very deep interview. And um, I just appreciate the opportunity, man. So there's a lot of people that do interviews, man. State to state, city to city, chasing down these battle rappers, man. Putting in these phone calls, man. I, I feel your pain, man. There's a lot of people in battle rap putting together some very, very dope interviews, man. And I respect it. I really, really do. I respect it. But don't get it twisted, man. There are interviews and then there's Untold Truths, man. Hitman Holler Untold Truth, produced by Chris Unbiased, man. Coming at you in five, four, three. Two, one. Well, what do you say to people that say you're so successful? 
why does any why does anything still bother you? And as you can tell, like that was the lightest hit man you said you probably seen, but then I probably gave you the best hit man the next Friday. The next Saturday. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I knew where all my energy had to go. And the summer man is boom. My mama just did, I wasn't really even, you never gonna be able to deal with something like that with your mama, but I wasn't done with, it was so much, bro. It was like, my mama got, I don't even know if my mama was gonna be alive. You know, you're in the breast cancer in 2014, I don't even know how this shit work. Let me, let me ask you this. I feel like you got like a crazy legacy. People like you, Lux, Mook, you know, all these people that have put in a lot of work. I feel like y'all legacy is a story for y'all. Mook didn't even really put it on. So by now it's April 1st. Yeah. The date here, this, what's going on? The battle, everything's breached. <laughs> We agreed on this, this ain't happening. So he's like, okay, well give me the $7,500 back. There's no bad. I'm like, no, <laughs> why? I wrote, I did all this shit, I'm not doing that. My people already know it's, it's home with rain. So I'm say, yo, I think I should walk past rain. <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> it's backstage. I'm like, man, there ain't no backstage, no wild out shit. My dog Mo, you know what I'm saying, from Luda's Park, my little bro. He walked past Rain and said, nigga, what the I'm so nervous. I'm like, no, this can't happen here. I'm like, I wasn't expecting, I'm expecting to see him at the battle. Like, this can't happen here. This Nick Cannon, it's a wild enough show, it's a tour. No! When it happened to her, that was the first time that I realized that my mama need me. You know, I always, you always look at life like you need your mama. That was the first time my mama really needed me to be strong and stand up because no matter what she was going through, if she would have seen me hurt and not being able to live my life and do what I had to do to support my family and the family, now that would have made it worse for her. I just I had to be that for her, you know what I'm saying? She had six years of survival, you know what I'm saying? Been doing good, and living life, and smiling, and watching her sons do, her thing, do their thing. And so everything good now, man. It was a, definitely was a tough, the toughest situation I ever been in. Yo, what up, man? Chris, somebody checking back in, man. Back with another Untold Truth. This is on the homie hit, man. Holla, what's good, bro? What's up, dog? How you living? I'm chilling, man. I'm chilling, man. First of all, thank you for the interview. Let me start off by that, man. Definitely a pleasure. It's been a minute, man. It's been a long you time know what I'm saying? Long time. You're one of the most requested Untold Truths that I, I get, man. So this is definitely an honor, man. Hi, first, I mean, you got a battle coming up. So how you how you feel about it? I'm excited, man. You know, um, a lot of controversy. Coming off my last one, you know. So it's always good to get back in that zone, like make people remember, you know, because I gotta, I've been doing this 11 years and I don't really have too many, un, I don't wanna say underwhelming battles because, you know, all my battles do like high numbers, it's always a grudge, it's always mean something. So a lot of my fans just kind of feel like people playing with my name, like, I want a 50 point performance, Holland. You got the win. You got, you got 25 and 7, but my 25 and 7s don't look good. <laughs> that's how much, that's how good I do in battle rap. So I'm like, you know what? I'm excited to show y'all, make y'all remember. So July 10th, it's on. All right, man. So let, let's just go way back, man. Since it's a little documentary, Untold Truth. Um, what actually got you in a battle rap? Um, what got me in a battle rap is, and I know I know you was playing ball first. So I guess we'll, let's start there. Yeah. Like like a lot of people know that you can play ball. You talk about it a lot in, in mm -hmm. some of your early battles. Mm 
Mm-hmm. How, how good were you, man? You know what I'm saying? Right, what were you average here, my boy? I was all right. Well, I, was, I started off JFL football, so I was a football player at six. Whatever. They actually inducted me, inducted me into the Hall of Fame and Herbert Hoover Boys and Girls Club this year. You know, I got the record for the most touchdowns, like close to 300 touchdowns from six to six years old, from six, seven years old to 12, 12 heavy or something. I had 300 touchdowns. So football, my thing, I started playing basketball like eight, seven, eight. Also, that's what I ended up going to college for. You know what I'm saying? Scholarship, California State, Northridge. Um, average 25 and D2, D2 All-American. The basketball team at Umsel has found its go-to guy. The Tritons are running their offense through him as well. And Gerald Fulton is delivering. Umsel guard Gerald Fulton has what most basketball players want, the green light. It's obviously a pretty attractive role he's got whenever you get to take those shots. In practice, I worked for that spot. Like, practice, I showed him I can hit shots. He is averaging a team high 22 points a game, the second best average in the Great Lakes Valley Conference. He's, uh, he's been very consistent, um, you know, both uh, scoring inside now. Game kept him on the straight and narrow. If you play basketball, you gotta go to school. If you didn't go to school, you couldn't play basketball. Fulton's sharpshooting skills have helped the Tritons get off to a 5 and one start. Oh, he's a huge part of it. But he knows one man doesn't make a team. Everybody in the locker room know we got a mission, and we all, we all ready to take, take control of it. Me and my family, we're pretty much athletes, run track. We just did everything. So I'm a sports guy that can rap, and not a rapper that can sports, you know. Okay, so what, what, what got you? When did, when did you start battle rapping? I started battle rapping like at the age of like middle school, like 12, was that 12, 11, 12, 13, around that age. Just looking at, I think by that time, I, my daddy showed me this DVD that had like X Factor on it. Um, of course, you know, the cast and Freeway, you, you know what I'm saying, you remember that? Um, T-Rex and Mook. You know, so I, it was a little CD that had all these battles on there. And all these guys, I was looking at like, man, I can do that. Because at, at school, I was always rapping. Like, I've been rapping like 10. I was always just rap, make my little raps or whatever. And then back then, you didn't really have to make no battle rap towards your person. You just had to rap. Like, okay, I got 10 raps. You got 10 raps. Let's see who got the best 10 raps. So I always was competing like that at school and the lunch table and all that. But when I start seeing X Factor and them do they thing, I'm like, oh yeah, let, let, me, let me try my luck in that. You know? I know you was in Fight Club. Mm -hmm. So, and I know you was so part I had of Fight Club battles too. I don't, I don't, I'm not sure if that came before I seen X Factor them, but the Fight Club is why Sam Scarfo versus Cardi, Remy Ma versus Lady Luck, 40 Cal versus Cardi. Um, Watched all them. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I knew them. I knew them word for word. So definitely Fight Club. Like watching Fight Club was like, yeah, I need to get on this. I was like 12. We could do this all day and all night, man. Remember last year on Hot 97 when you was being my hype, man? I was rhyming my rhyme. She was all in my ear. Sounded like Puff Daddy. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> I'm tired of bulls, tired of child's play. You Muggsy Bulls, Lady Luck is Yao Ming. Take down kings, anyone who's doubting the queen on the scene with a gangster lean. Yeah, so I was in college. I was in Juco at the time. And uh, Murphy Lee and Keywine, they're part of the same lunatics. They called like, yo, Fight Club coming up. I think you should get down here. I'm like, man, I'm at, I'm at school. Like, you think it's worth it? Like, like yeah, the winner get, get a chance to battle for 50,000. <laughs> Took that drive, you know, so. You know, I, um, I made, I, I, me and my friends, my partners who had a car, you know, the older guys, they had a car. I took the whole Juco team with me. It's like, if you look in the crowd, you see a bunch of six, eight, six, nine people there. They, they on my Juco team. They took me down there. And I ended up battling a legend. His name was D Mac, real battle rap legend in St. Louis. You know what I'm saying? They gave me him first. I ended up beating D Mac. Shout out to him. Watched him a lot growing up. Real cool with him, you know, you know my pops. 
beat him. I met Remy in the finals. And I'm the best you don't believe. Better than nothing. He just talking because it's free on my brother. He bluffing. I'm hot as a muffin. Well cooked and trapped in the oven. Trapped in the closet. I leave his ass trapped in his oven. And I'll approach him like, you know, kidding me, pal. Arrowhead bullet shoot his ass Indian style. And we gon' sit in the water. Indian style. Thought I was cocky. I act like he's sending me now. You hotter than who? You a thug. You popping in who? I can make you wear your dog. They swallow your food. It's the air rapper. We went to sudden death. And I'm getting past Remy. Shout out to Remy. Yeah, another St. Louis battle rap figure to help staple the culture. What's up, bro? <laughs> um, so beat Remy. And that's kind of my first. That stacked me as a battle rapper in the city. Like he's on a not worldwide. You know, like, ain't too many people really see it back then, but and I was my, I was the top name in, in St. Louis at the time. Like he beat D Mac and can be Remy, it's Hitman Holler, you know? So that was a big moment for me. Shout out to Fight Club, man. Okay, so when you went to uh, World War, I know you battled, you know, Cat Shola. I know you mm -hmm. ended up battling uh, Young Ill and, and a few other people. Mm -hmm. At this time, who's like the man in St. Louis in battle rap? At, was, at this at time, time, when you leave Fight Club, you're heading over to time. World War, and I guess Verb was what? Was he just throwing events? Yeah, Verb was really, really battling. Okay. Um, like on camera wise. Um, I think it was Young Ill. I think Ill was the man. I, the funny thing is, I just did Fight Club too, so it was kind of like Ill was the man because he did World War already because he battled um, G Soldier, so his World War thing was bubbling. That was a big battle. Was good, good, good showing from both actually. But I think you know Ill won that battle, so his name was bubbling. My name was bubbling because I, before Fight Club, I used to battle with the Lock Ins and the Palace. This is the team clubs that I, you know, what I'm saying we used to go to. So. I was winning those with stuff already on a smaller scale. So it was definitely me and Young Ill. My first time in World War, I battled a guy named Cali. You know what I'm saying? He was up and coming. He was nice. I battled Cali. I don't know, like, my first win. You know what I'm saying? And Berg introduced me as a fight club champ, this and that. I battled Cali. I think, I think Cali was my first battle before Ill. Like, I battled Cali. I think we went straight to Ill. I'm not mistaken. But yeah, I battled Cali. And I think me and Ill name was the top dogs of our generation in battle rap, you know? Okay, so <clears throat> you and Ill battled. Y'all had a crazy battle. So what, what was the vibe after that battle? It just like, if niggas like saying, no, nah, Hitman, you the guy, no, nah, no, nah, it's still Ill. Like, like what's, what's both? Yeah, they was just like, man, like, it's them two. That, that battle ain't really making, ain't nobody kill one each other. So I'm like, ah, oh, that's enough of that. Crown Ill the King or Crown Hitman the King. It was like them two went at it. Classic battle. You know what I'm saying? I had I had a slip up. A lot of people give Ill that battle because of my slip up in a second. No, man. I'm gonna reverse the script. I'm gonna reverse, reverse the script. Check this out. What? Hey, you get the whole clip. Man, shut up, dog. Shut up, dog. What you mean? It's good. It was that, though. Because, you know, I got it right back. But those kind of battles, you ain't got really time. Or, you know what I'm saying? You can't. Somebody on the A game, you can't. I kind of slipped up that battle. But it's still a classic, you know? So, by that, I think back then, you, they weren't really even giving people wins for chokes or slip up for real. If you got it right back, you know what I'm saying? That's around the era. Like, you get it back, you got it back. So, but me and Ill just left both that nigga though, like. He set up the drink with the St. Louis dudes. And, okay. I, and I'm like, St. Yeah. I'm like, I didn't know these guys at all. Nah, I'm like, St. Louis. They didn't have no resume. But resumes? then they sent us the footage. Okay. No, nah, they was getting busy out there, like okay. battling. I Cause you think of St. Louis at that time, you thinking of Nelly, Chingy. You're not thinking of niggas that can fucking rap, like for real. So then, he sent them the footage like, oh nah, these niggas is dead nice. Right. Who's the first person you saw from St. Louis? He sent me who I was back. He sent me L. Oh, young L, okay. And then I saw Hitman. I saw, and I saw Verb. I saw, I saw everybody. The whole New York versus St. Louis wave, I was a part of that wave, but I was in Juco. So they were sending my tapes to Loaded Lux. The fans were sending my YouTube battles on my space to Loaded Lux. Like, yo. These guys in St. Louis is going crazy. And they, they were sending my footage. So Lux reached out. You know what I'm saying? Uh, reached out to a Verb, because Verb's the head of World War. Like, yo, we want that young Holly kid. 
don't think I was hit, man. Yeah, I think I was still young holler. Um, we want the young holler kid, man. This, this, and that. So word was like, uh, verb was like, yeah. Um, I get down too and ill. Let's put a card together. You know what I'm saying? So when they came up with the dates and stuff, I couldn't make it. So it was supposed to be me versus Arsenal, Verb versus Head Ice, Ill versus Goods, and Remy. Remy might have took my spot later because I couldn't make it. He ended up supposed to go against Arsenal. I can't remember who who he went up there for. But so yeah, I was supposed to go, but. We was in a bad college tournament at the time. I couldn't make it, so them guys went. And that's when Verb made history. If I hit that angel dust, get my anger up, turn juggernaut, his frame get crushed. Mm. Shots point blank range, bang, he fucked his soul flying. I'm still fired. Even his guardian angels duck. Oh, 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 head ice, uh, if, if, if I battled you instead of SB, nobody would have heard it, head ice. <laughs> Excuse me, what's your name again? <laughs> What's your name? I'm the one who created your career. You the one who got it? <laughs> oh. <laughs> how, you, how, you, how you created it? You ducked the bullet. Yo, homie, what you forgot? Hold on, hold, 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 hold on, Neo. Hold on, Neo. Hold on. Bro, bro, what'd you say earlier? I said, uh, listen, this is what I said clearly. I said, if you would have took them, I said, if you would have took them rounds for SB, you wouldn't be here today. God loves spicy. you. No, no, no. He was talking spicy. I'll be God it. loves you, boy. Okay, now let me ask you this. At this time, is there a reason they you were supposed to battle ours? Is there any history between y'all at this at particular that, time? At that point, it ain't getting wild yet. I think they just put, I think they just made it, because it wasn't back then, it was easy to look at his style and my style. Like, Austin was there, you know, rowdy, rowdy, and you look at me, I was the same that way. You know, so I think they just really put it for the for the style matchup. Like, Hitman and Austin, or Young Holland, Austin would be a good matchup. So. It, at that time, it's just pretty much because of the styles. All right, you got an interesting, before we even get into like the battles, and I'm not gonna really go over all of them because I know you sat down with Hip Hop is Real and then went through the, through uh, the wall. Yeah. So I, I don't really gonna want, want to rehash all that. Mm. But um, as far as your performance, one thing I noticed going back, looking at a lot of your battles was, early on, you were always good, obviously with performance, but your setups, mm -hmm. you know, like when you battle, uh, Arsenal, you like, don't crack the smile, do not move. I'm not mm -hmm. talking about Like, mm -hmm. your setups and how you do stuff mm -hmm. was so polished then. I come around, you around, do not move. Don't crack the smile, I'm not your power, not cool. <laughs> you go fishers, not allowed in the crock pool. Oh! And if they jump in, understand that they crock pool. Oh! Like, how did you, how, how did you get to be that good at such an early age doing that? That's a good question, man. And I kind of got away from that. I don't know why. But yeah, that's I was going to tell you, I feel like we should get back to that too. You know July what I'm saying? Because <laughs> <that. laughs> you, you actually should set that up. So, July 10th, I'm back on that. But take me, take me through your writing style. What's up, bro? Uh, it's a glass window, y'all. Yeah. So people walk by and see me. Um, I, I, I think that's me. And, and what's crazy is that's what hit man holler. That's what I, I didn't have to work on that. That was hit man holler. That was... When you think of me, you think of oh, I'm gonna crack a smile, I'm not your power. Because I'm not the punch, punch, punch guy like conceited, you know, how heartless and them was at the time. And I wasn't really scheming. I don't even think scheming was really big back then. I can't remember, but I was just more direct. I had a good way of big boy and you direct. Like Chris Unbodge, you dying, don't even try. You had this, but you, I'm real good at just being believable because I'll actually be saying stuff that I either have done or don't mind doing. So I ain't really too far-fetched. Like, I take your neck and stretch the Neptune and break. I'm one of that kind of rapper. I was like, you blink, I'm a swing. He jump in, you know, you know what I'm saying? I'm that. So I was really good at putting 12-bar setups at a rapid pace. I was real good at that. And I think just that, my now, stuff. Real quick, a lot of people don't realize how good timing is. And like mm -hmm. how you set up like when you battle Big T and you're like uh you know picked up by my chin yeah. da 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 it run right. across the chest like the playing the like everything everything is timing and set up and, and rhyme certain words at the we look we right talking time. we talking like 2011 yeah. like look how young you are oh yeah and that polish I listen for the cries when I spot them. I pick her up by her thighs then put her under my chin cut her across the chest. It looked like I'm playing the violin. Oh, I was 21. So 
something like that. You know, I battle, yeah, I might be 20. I'm about Big T, that's 2011. No, 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 yeah, I'm I'm about, no, I battle Austin 2010. I battle Big T oh, before Austin. Okay. That might have been 2009. Okay, oh, wait. Or early 2010. Okay. I battle Austin on December 12th, 2010. So Cortez and Big T's before that. So they might have been all the same years. So that's, that's what I'm talking about. Like that's like over a decade ago. You yeah. were that polished in your setup. Yeah, 13. Yeah. So yeah, I, yeah. And I don't know, like every, and I'm good with that. Like, I listen for the cries when I spot her. That little I pick her up by her thighs, then put her under my and when I pick her up by her thighs, then put her on my you know what I'm saying? Cut up, it looked like I'm playing the violin, like that just was normal hit, man. That just was a gift I was blessed with, man. And 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 I and I think what happened with me is, as the time went, I started trying to not really change because I changed for the better, but I kind of got away from what hit, man, is real. Because I always and I'm like I still can bring it back, like let's build, like I'm still that, but it's kind of trying to adapt to the what's going on, and got away from that because it came so easy for me. It's like okay, let me try to step it up and. Bring this. Let me do some more of this, and and I just think that was just a gift for me, man. A gift of mine. Just the pocket rapping, fast speed, timing, what to say, how to say it, who I'm saying it to. All that stuff really play a a, a, a role in battle rap. Okay, now take me real quick through your writing process. Is it easier for you to write the bars or remember? My memory is impeccable. That's a good thing. Is is the hardest thing for me is find what to talk about. So when I find what to talk about, it's downhill from there. So, 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 so four-minute so round, you can memorize it. How fast? Like, how, how many If times? I wrote a four-minute round right now, I have it memorized. What's today? Friday? I have it memorized by Sunday. So do you got anything you do? Yeah, you go in, you go in a room, working out, you just... Yeah, I just say it. I just know how to say it because I hate writing. I can't even write it now. It, it seems like it's boring. It takes me... I, if I did like this and just I need to write, I couldn't do it. I gotta walk and do stuff. Like we just had to have a normal conversation. This is how I write rap. Like I'd be like, I can say that. Mm -hmm. I put it in my head. Me doing, I can't do that because it seemed like I get impatient, like ADT, like it's like. So I just gotta do stuff to rap. So that's how I write. If I think of four bars, Chris, I'm biased. You trip. If it's you, I wouldn't try it. Last time you cheated on your diet. I say it over, I just keep saying it over. Then I say it over, then add. Then I re say that and then say what I added. Now I re say that, say what I added and make new. Now I re say that, say what I added and make new to re. You know what I'm saying? I do, I just keep doing that. So, Chris, I'm by, don't try. You cheat on your diet. Chris, I'm by, don't try. You cheat on your diet. Where's the riot? Chris, I'm by, don't try. You cheat on your diet. Where's the riot? Can't deny it. Now, now, as you're doing this, is it all mental? You writing it down? Yeah, I'm saying as the more I say it, I'm remembering these parts. Okay. So if I keep uh, as I'm saying it, I don't just start where I left off. I start there to get where I left off, then add. Okay. So by the time I gotta add, I'm saying this, and then add. So by the time I'm done, I done said this a million times. Wow, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I done said this a million times. So by the time I get to the end, I just gotta remember the end. So by the time I get to the end. I'm, the more I gotta remember the end, I gotta keep saying this. You know what I'm saying? So that's, that's why I like doing these interviews because it's easy to get in that camera and be like, yo, who you think won the battle? Yeah. I like really understanding. Y'all so talented, man. I like understanding y'all yeah. thought process. Uh -huh. All right, let's go back to the battles real quick. So, you get on URL. First battle with Big T. URL, Big T, yeah. Okay, now do you know Big T? Or how's that set up? Yeah, I ain't know Big T. They just, um, they was saying the you know, Midwest team, Detroit, Chicago. It was like we got a guy from Chicago who was on. Um, I forgot what the first Smack card, URL card was, but the Matt Hoffman and T Rex. Yeah. They said they got a guy from Chicago who was on that card. So at the time, that battle wasn't even out. He just had one battle. He was in front of a mic stand. He was going crazy though. I'm like, damn, this, this fat nigga cold. You know what I'm saying? So. He was just going crazy with the with the battle or whatever on that. His cause him and Deacon Frost went out, so I only had to go out one battle. Right. You know what I'm saying? At that time though, it ain't really matter. Deacon was so hungry, it was like I had one battle to go through, like, let's get to it. So um that's how me and Big T came about. They just matched it up. You know, Miles was the big name in Detroit at the time. Verb had just the big clash of hollow. 
and SB. So he was the big name, big face in St. Louis. So I was like, okay, we put we, we put him with Miles. That's easy. And then uh, Young Ill and Calico. I don't know what made that matchup happen. Yeah, I don't know what made that matchup happen. Unless they put them two together first, like did Detroit, just like Miles, Ill, and then um, X Factor Remy. I don't know how I got Big T. I don't know. That's a good question. So I, I ain't know with Big T or whatever. History in the making. That's one of the ones, you know what I'm saying? Battle Rap Vault. I mean, Battle Rap Museum. He's swinging like a girl. I let two hit me, then another two hit me. Then a falafel through him. Mm. I think, fuck am I fighting for? I got that chilaka boo with. <laughs> boo boo with. <laughs> boo 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 with. Alright, you basically moved to Cortez. How did that battle get set up? Did you know Cortez at all? No, I didn't know Cortez. Um, like that's like that's one of your best battles. I don't know my best where, where, you, where you rank at? Right, top five. I mean, we gonna put it together. I want to really sit and act. I mean, we gonna put that together. Cause niggas think I be trying to be cocky or whatever when I say this, but I just ask a question. Somebody asked that question, and it's probably I'm probably the only battle rapper who you will legit have the first seven different answers. Like somebody asked, like, "Yo, who is him and Holla best battle?" They gave you Cortez, they gave you Verb, they gave you John John, and they gave you Sue Surf, then they gave you K Shine, then they gave you Bill Collector. Like, they, and then ain't like people just capping. You think like, "Oh, it could be his best." Oh, Wait, that might be his Like, wait a minute. You know what I'm saying? So see, I was, and see in that battle is, is once again the setups. You know, obviously the man what became such a big deal in that battle. Mm -hmm. But you also got the I go by your granny Mabel, the tip the on stories. the table. Yeah, you're just so, like, yeah, when you start knock knock, knock that's that the wasn't knock, even knock, that battle, but whatever battle what battle was it say? Bitch, we brought the knives in. I did that with Big T. Yeah, and I told Cortez I did that with Big T. Then I told Cortez. Nine, if you brought them K's, then I just you know what I'm saying. I ain't, I ain't, gonna, I ain't gonna lie, that, that's that's my favorite part of you, bro. The Cortez, no, nah, no, nah, that that those setups, those like setups, that. the stories because you don't really know where they're going and you just be like, you know. I go down the block to his auntie house like knock knock. She say wizard. I say hit man. She look out, start waving, crack the door. I bow, made my way in. She said, oh holla, don't cut me. Ain't nobody finna slice you. You brought them K's in. Where's Cortez? I started in the face then, picked up the K then, grabbed the wide braids then, made the whole tail like she worked at the days in. So what, what's the vibe right now with New York and St. Louis? I said all the time. I know you got the little part. You gonna watch me chew them right here. Yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's, yeah, yeah. It's, it's so is there, do these niggas know you coming? They still downplaying St. Louis? No, they ain't downplaying because we had the big T. Okay. Then Verb had the hollow and SB. I had the rich dollars. Now they know, they know what's up. They still ain't know to the full capacity, but they knew, God, don't play with them. Well, especially knew how to play with Verb. My respect probably went all the way there. Yeah. Me and Big T had a class, and they know I can rap, but they still booed me on my intro. On my left, I got my nigga hit me and holler. Yes! Representing the St. Louis. St. Louis, where you at? I really came to see Verb. They ain't fucking us at all. Well, Verb and Math, and then, you know, me and Cortez, boom. So that's kind of probably the match that got made, because Math was Math, and Verb was Verb, so it was like, that's easy again. I was like, okay, Cortez, Math, man, he doing his thing, hit man, hit man, boom, that's how that came out. So, you know, this game with Cortez, that's on some, they both on the up court. Cortez name probably bigger than mine, though. I can't remember who he battled before me. Yeah, I know he battled X Factor. Before me? I want to say it was a reason. I kind of felt like he battled maybe on the Deacon Frost Big T card or something. I just feel like he on that. Oh yeah, Cortez or X Factor. Okay, yeah. X Factor or Cortez. Okay, yeah, that's what he brought. Okay, he might be right here. So his name was already up here. So yeah, so they put that together. But I knew that was my first time in New York. So you know, I write different. But so I just get an extra. You know, I'm a foot. Everything that comes to battle rap, I take as sports. My first away game, mm -hmm. my first time in the Mecca where this sport started, I knew the lights was bright. So that's another thing how I write, like, lights bright, your time to shine. And I know they really respect Verb, kind of, they don't really fuck, they don't really know me, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, I got all these tangibles across, how you gonna act? 
you know, my damn type of vibe I got. He and my ear saying that. Like, we don't sugarcoat. Ever since six, seven, eight, nine, ten, you know, big game, road game, they're gonna boo you. They're gonna fire you. They're gonna do this. Mid range. Or they're gonna jam you. They're gonna do this. Watch the safety. Make sure so this week in practice, do this. And my pops talking me through everything. And that's installed in me. So I, I take that in battle rap quartet, New York, hostile crowd. I ain't gonna like it. That's why stuff don't bother me. That's why niggas get booed and be on my and forget his raps and I'm ready for that. I'm an athlete. I'm supposed to get booed away. <laughs> that's natural. Yeah. So them booze don't bother me. It's like that's not supposed to happen. Okay. Let's make them let's make them let's make them respect you at the end though. Let's make them cheer for you when you leave. That's what happened. So you battle Arsenal. And one, one thing I do want to ask, even though I know you discussed it um in another interview, but how did at this time how do you and Arsenal get to that level to where it's that much trash talking? Because mm -hmm. so you, you, you're not battling him, mm -hmm. and I'm pretty sure Arsenal doing his thing. Mm -hmm. But, like, are y'all niggas, social media ain't super crazy. Ain't super crazy. How, how crazy do y'all no. get to if 0 you, to 100? Because if you look now, knowing us, you know it's now. Right. So picture that you know it's now and how we are at then. So I don't know Arsenal, he don't know me. So is he looking at your battles like, oh, I killed this thing? Yeah. I don't like it's man, ain't no. His blog was so crazy. Like he started that. The Midwest nigga, you country niggas keep doing that. <laughs> that Nelly jam. <laughs> 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 that I didn't come off and boom. <laughs> he was man, can't no St. Louis country ass nigga beat me. <laughs> Nelly, Chingy, you know he was oh, bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So and you know me now. So picture me now. But you know me now, listen to that damn, like, who the fuck is he talking to? Yeah. Hey, Arsa, hey, Arsa, if you're supposed to be a real goonie and you got real OGs, they should have told you I wasn't a good look. Now you can't come, you can't step a pinky toe nowhere past Midwest. You know what I'm saying? So, man, hit man, I forearm, backhand, slap you, nigga. Like, it was all that. I'm like, oh, he got me confused. Like, verb don't go for that neither, or ill don't go back for, for that either. But my personality matches that. I'm the one who won't really. Oh, you got to show that. You know what so, I'm saying? So, so real quick, are you still thinking this battle rap shit? Like we know now that like, a lot of that is yeah. it's stuff. But at the time, no, we're not. That's what I'm saying. That was real. Okay. You know what I'm saying? We went. So I went. I got paid three thousand to battle arts. Like so, it wasn't like oh, let's sell this fight. We got pay per view streams deal. It was just like this nigga talking crazy. Like he really talked crazy, and my whole city saw it. So it's like, man, man, I back you nigga out. Pull my cigarette on your fucking eye, nigga. Fuck you, nigga. We gonna, you know, he was really like that. Okay. And I just knew how I was. I'm like, oh, you got the right one. What's up, Arsa Ho? We, what's up, nigga? When you see, nigga, what, nigga? Big B. You know what I'm saying? I was red, red. I was that too. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, I don't. He don't know me, but he gonna find out. That's how I came into it. You know what I'm saying? So I made my blog like, nigga, man, you can't come to St. Louis, nigga. Chad, what, what's up? What we doing? Like. You know, he was just like, you know, his talking, then when we finally met each other, you know, I was up there solo, but, you know what I'm saying, took took me outside, I was like, man, I fuck with you, man, you ain't, you you barked back, like, you know what I'm saying, kind of like, because niggas ain't really know St. Louis neither, they knew Nelly, they knew the happy music, you know what I'm saying, they thought, they ain't really know St. Louis, they get on the radar when it came to street shit. To, un to people who not in the street, people who in the street knew St. Louis and knew, you know what I'm saying, all the all the shit that happened, or all the big wigs, there are street niggas who from there. But if you ain't really know nothing about that, you ain't know St. Louis. So a lot of people start realizing St. Louis is one of them cities. Like oh, they got some real ones on. They stand. So he kind of like, and I'm like, bro, you talk a lot, of shit, bro, but we kind of knew you. Like man. It's it's for that. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of, it wasn't like saying he came and just back down. It was just like, you can tell the one that. And we came to like, all right, like, let's get this money. I'm like, all right. You know what I'm saying? Went and battled. But we, we talked before the battle. Like, got your first, second half. I got mine. And I fuck with you. You stood on yours. I'm like, yeah. I'm like, nigga, ain't never talk crazy like me. That's crazy. I'm like, this is what this nigga talking crazy to me. You know, we laughed and this and that. And shit, that was that. His homeboy keep talking while I'm rapping. Not cool. The contract said I can't hit this nigga. Not you. That battle probably the most important battle of my career. Okay. Arsenal, because 
he was the biggest name in battle rap. Right. Him or conceited, whatever way you want to go, because they just had a class anyway. So, and the disrespect he gave to me and to my city saying about saying, like, I had to win. Like, I had to. You know what I'm saying? I left a basketball game. I had a basketball game Saturday. I put up a post my mama. My mama put the Facebook thing up. It said it, 2010, December 10th. My son had 27 points, 11 assists, and I fly out to battle Arsahoe. He She called him. He, she called him Arsahoe. Wish him luck. Had a battle Saturday. Had a battle on Sunday. I had to tell my coach I couldn't even be at practice or film Sunday because there was a family emergency. So my mom went to smoke too. My mom went. <laughs> My own holler with it, so you know. I think I, I think people don't really take take that in consideration. Like man, hit man, holler straight. Was a college a high profile college athlete? Like I led the D two in scoring. You know what I'm saying? Like he did this and left on the plane and probably had the best battle ever. Like for performance ever. So from I knew I just had to win. It was too many. He would have cooked me. My, my career would have probably just been over. Right? Did all that. That's the battle I wanted. Cause that battle was cooking up for two years, two or three, so everybody knew. So you put, I right, give him what he want. Let's see if he's gonna react under pressure. If I mean, he's gonna fold under pressure, or he's gonna meet the expectations. So then, then my thing, man, and that battle solidified. Him. Yeah, hit man, too. And that and that battle kind of pushed me in front of Verb in some eyes. You know what I'm saying? Cause that was the first me and you battle. That was the biggest name yeah. that any of us ever battled. You know what I'm saying? Like I think because yeah, because Verb had Young Miles was a big name too, but I don't think his name was bigger than yeah. Arsenal. Bad Miles. Yeah. Hollow the Don. But he had to Young know, Hollow. I think Hollow was at his peak for some matter one, like when he started. You know what I'm saying? So Arsenal was a million view on grind time. Right. Ain't nobody. I think they was the first million view battles on the net. Some shit. So. A lot of people, that's where, that's just big to know because that's when, keep this in mind, but that's when me and her okay. kind of started. Like, not me and him, but as far as other people, like, because oh, at first it was clear, Bird, St. Louis, Bird, St. Louis, Bird, St. Louis. He even had Ill because Ill went and battled in New York before me. He battled Surf. He had a stand out performance. Cortez was my first time in New York. That came afterwards. So it was still very real. I went, I was third. You know what I'm saying? Like as far as people mind. So when I um be awesome, people are like, hold on. Because yeah. it was a standout win. It wasn't like a, it was a standout, like who is this? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like niggas was like, you know what I'm saying? Rex had comment on the thing, like this nigga highlight, so my name just was and everybody was like, hold on, it's a new shirt to St. Louis and so yeah. keep that in mind for that. But yeah, so man, Arts did that. And they so got, so you get the summer madness one with hollow headline. Um, yeah, headline. So on that card is also verb and clips. Mm -hmm. You know, Kayshawn, Sue Surf, that whole nine. I think conceded in Rex. Uh, yeah, man. How much did the mics mess up that battle? That's a battle. Yeah. That between, real quick, that's a battle between two obviously big names in the culture, and it's not a battle that people would go to to say, "Oh, this is one of the best hollows," yeah. and this is one of the best. So look, I mean, and I was gonna tell you that like. If he was to ever really dip, 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 and think about a rematch and it wasn't good, mm -hmm. you know, obviously about about the cow. Like Hollow was like one of the ones. Like we could have, we could have really went crazy if we. But uh, how much did the mics mess that battle? With? It messed. And me when up. did you know about the mics? The situation that when everybody got to the venue. And I say that because your setups are so crazy, but it's hard to do. When it's you hold hard. It's hard. Like nigga, I was nervous when we found out. I, I didn't even watch no battle. I was in the room performing my bars because I'm like, I don't rap like this no more and doing this, I gotta do this. But you shooting up, killing the clouds. You ain't doing shit but shooting up. But you got protection now. Chopping out the section now. Grab a box, nigga. I'm gonna say that for the second round. So imagine having to lift the AR and spin around and do all this like that. Like, I don't think you understand how Mad that messed with my confidence in remembering, because I remember a lot off action too. Yeah. It, it helped me. I know when I do this, I know a ball come. I got, you know what I'm saying? I just it's that's how that's how I orchestrate. So I'm like, damn. So I'm the whole time, and they're like, a lot of people just rap anyway, so they perform in, so they it don't matter. They go from this to this. 
I'm going from this, this, and I'm turning around, asking my brother questions and throwing shit up. So I'm like, it just, I just felt funny. You know what I'm saying? But I ain't complaining. I ended up doing, made it happen, did what I had to do. First round still was classic or whatever. But it just ain't, I ain't feel good about the performance because it just, I wasn't prepared for it. You know what I'm saying? That's too last minute. Or whatever, you know what I'm saying? A lot of people still say I won first, he won third, and the second was just whatever. But it wasn't nobody standing out performance anyway. Like, so also in that battle was like clips coming out party. That was kind of like when people really like got a chance to see clips. Yeah. Now I know Verb had a lot of complaints about the, the booing the and everything, stuff. and a lot of people feel like he lost that battle. The answer, because you a rapper who has the image of rock. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Not is this behind the scenes still fueling the hitman is the guy? Because you don't have the kind of verb showing yeah, that. It wasn't really that. Had. It came probably afterwards. Like after that, then it was probably like, okay, because a lot of, at first the narrative was like, yeah, clips kill verb. Okay. But then, you know, you start looking at the footage and then verb start making this case. And like, hey, boy, they weren't even listening. Y'all in the devil trick y'all. Cause see now, when this battle come out, y'all gonna expect for Charlie to go crazy, and I'm not gonna say nothing, and that's not how that's gonna look. That really helped because the people started making it, and then that video got more dislikes than likes, you know what I'm saying? People yeah, respect yeah. the verb, like, yeah, but that stuff that's going to play, because I still probably got the best showing of a battle in St. Louis with the arts. So just a lot of people just gonna, and now that we older today, a lot of stuff just getting in people's heads, and like, yeah, hit man that, like, yeah, Verb clips did that, man. Hit man, that nigga. It's just how it go. Just like if I get smoked, he had a good performance. All right, it's always it, that's how the fans are. We know now, but that, but that also. Then I was the main event of that, so it just look. I was just look. Hit man, that, I was the main event of the biggest battle rap in New York at the time ever. Hit man, holla. So, so you you so at this time you started out. A little less popular than you. Third. Yeah, I was third. And and verb, but at this and point in outside time, of all Louis, those are starting to change. Yeah, that's outside of St. Louis, because I already had a bigger name in battle rap, because I was battle rap. Verb wasn't bad. He was hosting and rapping, doing music. I was battle rap. I was in the limelight. I was, Verb used to come get me. I was 15, battling niggas, grown niggas in the barbershop. So I was that in St. Louis, but on the, the battle rap outside world scale, they didn't know me. Yeah. Like they knew him because. He was an SB. That went up. You know, the famous Mook. You know what I'm saying? All that shit happened. Ill had a standout performance versus Surf. Bye. That's for being dark skin and dirty, softer than Fergie and looking 18 going on 30. Bye. That's for being another phony rap goon, internet thug that wouldn't get live in the chat room. So them guys on that plan. So my Cortez came later, but they still got that. So I'm like, okay. But it's still them. You know what I'm saying? So by the time this happening, I I'm jumping up. I pass ill, and it's still like me and Verb. Okay. It's like ah, what's going on? So, but my my hollow performance was ah, it wasn't really nothing. So it wasn't really, it's just really the same because we both he didn't have a good performance versus Clips, and I ain't have a good performer hollow in a way. So it's like that was really nothing. But he got the worst end of the stick because they was, you know, they was tacking Bird. You know, Bird was fucking New York, so they was letting him have it. So he felt the hate a little more. I was kind of chill, like, I ain't going to say fuck y'all, but I'm riding, but I ain't going to broadcast it. So they ain't really attack me as much. They hate me too, but they really got on Bird head because, you know, that's what happens when you do that. They going to come. They can't wait to give you a reason. To, so... It's still the same, like, hit man of Berg, my Arsenal still, my Arsenal still probably was the best showing still in everybody. Like, you know what I'm saying? That was a legendary joint. Surf and K-Shine had a good one. You know what I'm saying? Or whatever, but I was still the man. That was my MVP year, so I'm still hot. You know, I'm still hit man, so. But in the same breath, I still kidnap you. I'm bipolar, I switch moves and then smack you. My goal of this battle is not to outwrap you, but cover all bases, and that's our statue. Go ahead, act foul. I ain't gotta hack you. Your transition weak, so I'm a fast break attack you. And fuck who you came with, I walk up to your whack crew. Never. And stand in the middle of your pack. You battle goods. Mm -hmm. um, 
a lot of people were saying that the lead without your hands, mm-hmm. that you choke. Mm-hmm. What do you what do you feel? What do you remember about that? What do you feel like happened in that, in that set? This that's what made me start. That's what start. That what made me start writing how I write now. Because the reason why I don't know if you can see it on camera. The reason why I choked because I said something, they went crazy. Somebody said something in the crowd. Yeah. And I looked. I just watched that battle recently. I mean, like two days and ago. I think so I, so you, you, you uh, say your bar. Uh huh. Crowd going crazy. I think, I somebody, think somebody, somebody did say something. You go, you go and grab your water. Battle with your bottle, but I'm gonna tell you in advance. You throw something in this crowd, you gonna leave without your hands. <laughs> that because I, I heard somebody say something it was something towards me and I, and I heard it and I looked like and that tense of a second made me lose the visual of the paper mm-hmm. I was reading I was writing shit down on a paper because that was all the way up to hollow so I was writing stuff down on paper oh I think I had a blackberry it might be my phone okay my paper but and I'm used to I memorize the way it look on paper. So, if I know some, 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 you know, hands, some, 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 you know, leave it out your hands, I know what come, I know a word come, whatever that key word, I got them memorized, the key word after that, that knows my next bar. When I, whatever happened, I lost my train of thought because it wasn't even that. I lost my train of thought of what's going on. I lost my train of thought from the paper. Yeah. So if I know that come next, I couldn't think of it. And that, from that point on, I'm glad that happened to me because I stopped writing down on paper. I just kept notes in my little phone, but I had to memorize it. I rap going down the street. I rap and people doing stuff. So no matter what's going on, I don't got to re- rely on me having a photographical memory of an image. Right. Because anything can happen. Somebody do this and I can't remember or whatever. So now I rap during basketball games, doing whatever. I'm usually sitting in the middle of a crowd, everybody going crazy, I just zone out. Because now can't nothing distract me. And I don't get fucked, they start fighting, they can do pop fireworks. You know, you know it, don't, it don't help that goods was kind of talking. Like, you know, that's what I'm saying, a lot of this stuff. Terrible. You know what I'm saying? It's like, you know what I'm saying? That never, and it's like, I got to deal with him, and I'm trying to memorize a paper. I'm listening to him. I'm doing that. So now, somebody talking. That's why I didn't know from that point on, I don't, I'm never ever choked again because it ain't my memory. It's just battle rappers that tell you all it takes is this. Like, you would know your shit like, all it takes is a split second. And well, the reason why niggas choke is because it ain't that they won't be able to remember. They not relaxed. So right now, if I forget, I can do like this. Like, damn. Oh, yeah. I can't do it in the battle. It's like, oh, my fucking God. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You got to you gotta get it right now. Like, you. And that's impossible. You, your, your train of thought happens when you relax. You forget to forget. You ain't going to panic. You're going to be like, what battle was that? Oh, you're going to be because you don't matter. But when your pressure on you and you got a, a time limit, you go, ain't gonna never. So now it's just like, okay, why the reason that I do that? So I'm happy. Niggas are talking. This and that. I couldn't think of the paper. Then that's why I don't end up coming back because when I just calm down, like, fuck it. It's already been 20 seconds. He's like, got it. Remember the paper. Now it's just like, how can I avoid that? Your memory good. Fuck that paper. So now it's boom, boom, boom. And I just, I just take down the key. I just put down the bar on my phone. 
I don't even put the setup because I know that's going to make me remember the setup. I just need to know I got that bar. If I know the bar is that, if I know Super Mario, I know what I need to say to say that. I just need to know, make sure I remember Super Mario. So that's how I write now. I just like, I just go around just writing every, any, I write in a battle. Like you see me on stage in a battle, I just all out thinking. So yeah, that's what I do now. And when you got all conceited and you had your third round and you were saying all the things that, mm -hmm. you know, I'm a guy that did this, this, mm -hmm. and this. I interviewed Goods and Goods felt like you had borrowed that from him. That was his exact words because he was like, I'm the guy that told K Shine to bring his ape in here. Oh, for real? I'm the guy that, that did such and such. Any correlation or just when, when he do that? When he battled you. Because you know, there's a, in that one. Oh, he never me. <laughs> yeah. When he battled you in the one round, he was like, I'm, no, I'm the guy that told K Shine to bring his apron here. Uh -huh. I'm the guy that told this. Uh -huh. The nigga that told K Shine bring my apron here. I'm the nigga that told the nigga I went to where she stayed at. Put my boxes down, that's where she put her face at. Jumped up out the bed, like, where you want me to spray at? She said it doesn't matter, plus this where Richie lay at. I'm the nigga that told Khan you gonna be a son for the rest of your career. That was mean, nigga. Hold on, I'm the nigga that told the nigga I listen for the cries when I spot her Pick her up by her thighs then, put her under my chin, cut her across the chest I wouldn't knock him, I probably heard him say it, but I had so many quotes that I probably really did it for myself Like, if he said that, I was, my, my whole thing, I thought the crowd was going to say each bar with me Right Like just the memory lane and time, I'm the guy that told him I come around, you around, and I would picture every, I did like four of them. Picture all of them said all my haymakers. So I don't know if he probably did it just saying it to really be reminiscent. Like, I'm the guy who said this and that and get you his ball. I was saying it like the crowd that he said with me. On top of I really didn't have nothing for kind. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So I really got nothing to do with good. I ain't really have nothing for kind. Play y'all with the black gloves, rubber grip with the radar chip. I come to one of the bird party with an AR clip and shoot soon as I get in like a... Now, I took it easy and didn't write a third. I gave you my word. I still won a battle and I gave you the third. <laughs> Well, I supposed to write a third because he the best? Nigga, sit down. I ain't even write a third. I'm thinking of shit now. I was done like I was first singing. I gave him, come here, Kai. Let's make you. And then I was like, let me have some fun. So I really looked at it that way. It wasn't really me. But I can't knock him from saying it. If he said it to me if I did it afterwards, like I'll be a fool to try to think I ain't like if he feel that way. I mean, I ain't personally do nothing. I don't even really rap like nobody else or have. But if it's a correlation, I probably did hear him like, oh, that was all right, but I can probably treat it this way probably. You know, man, you know what I mean? Niggas took shit from me <laughs> and took ideas and shit, so I mean, can't knock him feel like that, though, Paul. All right, let's, let's, uh, let's get to the verb battle. Now, at this point in time, how is that battle brewing? Cause like, well, like is, there, is there one particular thing? Is it a bunch of stuff? How, how did it get to, to that? Oh, a bunch of stuff. You know, like I said, verbal competitor like me, you know, so he starts seeing a lot of verb take the back seat, Hitman, Hitman City from the world. You start seeing a lot of that. And, you know what I'm saying? I, I, I want to retweet nothing crazy, but I retweet Hitman the King of the Midwest. Hitman the King is like, no, I just retweet my stuff like you're supposed to. And then, he started saying, he started hearing people tell, say that I told them, like, yeah, I'm a nigga and all this stuff, which I never did. I never talked, you know, I'm so St. Louis. I never talked outside and no nigga say whatever. But I think that was just his reason of really calling me out because he was steady. Just saying, man, I want to battle because I feel like I'm still that. And they think you, I want to battle, which is cool because I'm the same person. You know, a lot of people look down on us, but I actually um, commend that. You know what I'm saying? Like, you feel like that? Right, let's go. Like I said, I look at sports like, and one no, oh, he the best basketball player on the team, and we just bow down. It was like, let's get these ones going. <laughs> well, well, what do you think about how it was looked down and now everybody doing it? Clicks about it's always it. that. It's always that. Like he talked so bad about it. Did you open it? Did y'all open the door? Of for course that? we did. <laughs> you battled your man for the crown. That's some <laughs> shit. Look, I had that shit. Cause loyalty is bigger than this battle. 
Two Doc standing up here on this stage. This probably got Q Doc rolling over in his grave. Of course, cause I'm like, yeah, I should have looked. Y'all should have been like, we ain't gonna fight. You know what I'm saying? Like no street shit. Like man, like man, bird, like shit. You know, you handled it that way. You think you there? I think I'm that. Set it up, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Like I got tell you, he called me out. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So wait, did you accept it right away? Are you still thinking? Because y'all still kind of on this Midwest New York yeah. thing. Are you thinking nah, like, you know, you know what, this ain't really. Nah, you know me. I accept it. Like, nigga ain't just going to say it. Like, set it up. Like, okay. there wasn't nothing to think about. So when he said it, all the time, was, let's go. You know what I'm saying? So, a lot, you know what I'm saying? A lot of people, like, you know what I'm saying? I ain't going to lie. A lot of people are saying, like, man, for we jealous of you. This isn't that. I took it as, like, it's hard being a man and something and then just. Seeing somebody come up and people don't think you the man and you the competitor and you know you still cold. You know what I'm saying? That's how the we and we know how the battle world changed and like that. So he just was like, man, yeah, I forgot what I did. I'm the reason I didn't even know him. That's how he felt. And I'm like, nigga, no, what I did is the reason why they know me. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm the reason they saw me first. Nigga, let's go. You know what I'm saying? So it was it was healthy. It was healthy for us. We made both of us made like twelve thousand dollars at the time. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We, I was like, we was good. Classic battle, whoever you get, like a lot of people edge that to him because of the third. Anytime somebody edge a battle versus me, it's always because they got a third that kind of push them over. A lot of people had me winning into the big job. I don't mind that. But I step my but my thing is I stood in front of the best verb and told you I belong here. Like I stood in front of the best verb ever. Walked away. Speaking of that battle, it's kind of Obviously, that was your, your, your dad. So, yeah. there's always been a lot of Roman verb planets. Yeah. Like but that was your dad. I ain't gonna lie, like, like watching it on, on, on camera, being in the building, everything, like, the fact that your dad's audio is captured so loud. Is your dad just really like that? Like, yeah, he he heard me, and people don't know about this battle. If you listen to the battle, I spoke to him. Hey, yo, Pops. Hey, Pops. Niggas calling my phone. No oh, pops, what's up? He say that. He right there. So Verb probably could have thought his head too. Oh, he might he might say something. He already gonna say it, but Verb probably in his head like, cause my daddy the type, he just like me. My daddy don't back down. My daddy, cause my daddy saying yes sir, as in uh, we here, we ride your big drill, yes sir. That's how he was saying it, and he just ain't know it was just. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Like, well, no. What them conversations were like? You, you, nah, he still, you know, I was bad at him. He'd be like, eh, I need to help. I had to help nephew get around, man. You was up too old. <laughs> That's what my daddy was like. Some nigga, stop getting no camera saying you popping them guns. Hey, Big Jerry. Yes, sir. That's the way you talk to your son. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, like I said, he, that was, yeah, he was right there, so. And Verb know my daddy. My, my daddy was LeVar, LeVar Ball. That's his name, LeVar? Yeah, yeah. LeVar Ball before him. Yeah. Me, my little brother, my little sister. My little sister, track star. My little brother, show did everything I did. I was like big family star, so he always pushed his kids out. So he was that. He know my daddy gonna talk shit. He knew my daddy gonna say something. All right, take me after the battle. Y'all leave the stage. How long does it take you and Verb to get cool again? Are y'all, do you, do you leave and it's like we battled and we cool or we nah, battled and we ain't fuck with each other? Nah, Still. nah, we was cool. Okay. He did that, Big Joe, like, cause like I said, I, re I respected him just for saying that, that let me know. He could have hid all that from, he could have wanted to battle me for six more years and ain't saying that, just been hating and little slick shit. Like, he, he put it out there early, so we ain't had no crap. That's what it was. You know what I'm saying? He battled. He said what he said in the battle. I said what I said. We both got personal. It was that. And when like I kept my hands, I, I, kept, I let off the gas and then he didn't know. So I'm mad because nigga, why didn't do all that? I said what I said. He said what you said. We made a lot of money. Probably got the best battle ever. I'm fine. Like, man, let's go go back on a mission if you want to. You know what I'm saying? So we was, yeah. We got paid, hopped in a whip and left the venue together. <laughs> it's all good. Yeah. All right, so you battled uh, John John a guy. What was that? Summer was that Summer Madness? Summer Madness, Summer Madness two. Summer Madness two. You battled John John. I know there was an infamous hotel little lobby argument. Oh, yeah, what the fire! Man. What made you finally say I'm a battle? I made my mind up then. 
man. Chicago. And smack, and are battle rappers saying, man, you should go ahead and battle. Like, who, who is, like, someone that's, like, in your ear that, that would have, like, your, that you would value their opinion at this time? That could say, man, maybe give John John a shot. Or is it Smack throwing more dollars at you? Like, like what, what made Smack didn't even pay me for that. Oh, okay. We had a sponsor. Okay. okay. Yeah, that turns, um, not turns Newton. I can't remember his last name. The basketball oh, player from, uh, Yeah, turns Williams. Okay. Yeah, he wanted to see it. Smack didn't want John John on Summer Madden stage. Said he ain't did another thing one on one there. Said say the battle, they want me to battle with DNA or somebody. But you know me, I'm calculated. I'm like, I'm not battling like this is what makes sense. Bring him to my world. If you wanna come up, you got this nigga. All of these niggas interviews for what? I got a rap, John John, he's going to be one right now. Oh, John John, the diamond. It's a bet. 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 I'm a sports player, I'm an athlete, I'm a competitor. I ain't gonna just let too many people just talk crazy to me and all I'm fine if you're on the level. Not you can just be anybody saying my name on coming to see you, you know. John John, and then he had a good battle that weekend. <laughs> so you know what I'm saying? So he was the name was buzzing, he did what he had to do on Twitter. This was the early days where if Twitter follow you and Twitter co-sign you and wanna see it, that helped the battle. So a lot of people were like, we wanna see it, like yeah, this whole campaign was hit man don't really supposed to be there. He can't hang with the new cat. You know what I'm saying? That was his whole campaign. So he, he did that good. He probably was the first one to do the Twitter campaign to get a battle. Yeah. Did that good. Then the hotel stuff helped him like his live. Like talking shit live. He had his had his fan base behind him talking to me and we right there. Like, you can't this, you can't that. We this, this, this. That went viral. Smack in the middle. We was finna battle one round on there. I had 16 wrote for him already. <laughs> okay. Because when I was talking, like, I just like gathered thoughts, like, why am I battling him? What would I say? I had that already. So when Smack was like, man, we do one round right here for now, man, for 5,000 or whatever you finna bet. I'm like, I'm ready. Tell a nigga what's up. John John ain't had and I caught him off guard. To this day, he had laughed, pissed. He was like, he finna scramble so up. I had, then in the first, I think I had the first 16 of my rap that <laughs> I said to him in real life. For him there, I was finna smoke him. He knew it. He like, no, nah, no, nah, nigga, no, nah, I don't wanna do it now. So we ended up doing they you know I've told him on Summer Madness too. And they said no. Kept saying no. Didn't want John John and I said no a million times. We got our own sponsor, Turn Williams, a big fan of mine. And you know, the culture and shit. He knew the battle rap the battle would make noise, so they sponsored it. End up being the best battle on Summer Madness, too. Stop acting like this win helps. On the other hand, I can lose about 10 belts. Let me break it down. Lil' Johnny, I'ma coach you. I body bag you, I just did what I was supposed to. You body bag me, well, tomorrow you on Oprah. Your face on billboards, your slogan on posters. I brought up. Y'all relationship has evolved a lot. Like, how did y'all get into after the battle? Yeah, because me and John John kind of, his brother was always in St. Louis. We had a couple few few mutual friends, so after that battle, I just you know I just respected John John. I like how he went about it. He did his thing. He was overcoming. He was nice. You know what I'm saying? I'm I ain't no I'm a friendly person as far as when it come to that. Like as long as you don't disrespect me, no crazy shit. I can't fuck with you. I'm cool. Like after we battle, you and I were it's like football play. This that's a sport now, so we good. Like what's up, bro? You know what I'm saying? And John John is just a cool dude, man. So we end up just staying in touch, you know, and just watching each other progress. Okay, um, around this time, we start to see the the order of St. Louis is constantly changing. Mm -hmm. And this is what we start to see, um, you know, I guess Young Ill not being ill as much. He battled Cortez mm -hmm. in the Midwest, then the King Juice card, he was about Mav, I think Ver was battling Cortez, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. Ill was about, I think, O Red. You know, and, uh, right. At this time, everybody's still cool. Are y'all having like, what are your thoughts of, of, of Ill's situation? I was in the building for all these battles. I was in the Midwest when he battled Cortez. I, I'm one of the few people that saw him battle 
over it. So when everybody was like, oh, man, yo. That's that the time we battled Arsenal, too? Yes, he did good. We came right yeah, there. Yeah, but, but that was a little, that was a little, little like, Okay. But, when I, when he, but during these two battles, the Cortez and the O'Red battle, I'm in the building for both of them. Because to be honest, it, it was my favorite battle mm-hmm. rap at the time. Mm-hmm. So like every time he on the car, I'm like, I'm gonna go check him out and see what's going on. So, cold, so as as you, yeah, because he kind of like a combination of you and Verb. Like yeah, he got performance, yeah, but he's he very lyrical he's too. Funny and he got the yeah. same shit Lux got. Like he is dangerous. Yeah. You gonna talk about guns this whole battle, homie? You been a clown. I'm gonna talk about guns this whole battle, cause that's what I've been around. I got two choppers that shoot for 60 seconds each. I let one pin them down. You from grind time, right? So you should be used to these one minute rounds. Oh. Like he is dangerous, bro. He just And I know how much you y'all rep St. Louis, like on this STL or everything kind of thing. What what are you, what are your thoughts? And, and you ain't gotta like share no private conversation yeah. you might have with him, but like what are you thinking? Because obviously the battle rap community is uh-huh. tearing them apart because Smack ain't vaulting all of them yeah, battles. Uh-huh. And King Juice never put that battle out. What 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 are your thoughts on that situation? Um, Like I said, you know, we, I mean, it'll been cool. We used to, used to see them at the lock-ins and stuff. You know, we had braids. We was 17, 18. I've been knowing them for a long time, man. A lot of people. Were you closer to the verb or closer to him? Yeah. It was funny because. I knew ill from like the lock ins and like the little stuff first. But me and Verb got cool because Verb used to just come pick me up and battle people and call. Like Verb was just always trying to make some money. Like, man, you, you wanna bet? Like, so me and Verb started hanging. It's kind of the same. Them two was closer to each other though than they was with me or him. Like, Verb and ill was like this. Okay. I was cool with Verb and ill, so it was kind of tricky. But a lot of people don't know the battle world game. Ill an image that wasn't even him. Like they was trying to give Ill an image like he was like feminine, gay, cause his, his clothes. You know they just always try to say that like, or for some reason they thought he was soft and all this stuff they used to say. But you know what I'm saying? It was in the streets. <laughs> a lot of people, you know, they even try to give verb that like we from St. Louis. Like we don't be saying like niggas the most toughest thing in the world, but we from a dangerous city. It's really tough. Like we made it out. Or any kind of way, you gotta been, you know what I'm saying, a little tough. So they try to get ill, that kind of light. Ill, partners in the streets, his brothers, his cousins, like he was a street nigga. Like getting into it and shit, like selling, like he was a street nigga. So he was going through street shit and problems and, and I knew. So I, that's why I never talked about like, I talked to him off, outside the camera or whatever the case may be. Like, you good? Like, saying, you good? All right, that's what's up, bro. Like, I keep it moving. I ain't the type to really dig deep into a nigga. Like, his, I mean, like, background. Like, what's going on now? What's it like? I call you good. You tell me it's good. You check on me good. So, as he was going through all this stuff and they were saying crap, all the other shit was saying, I kind of knew. And I was just like, he don't give a fuck. I, I, I knew from the jump, he don't give a fuck about this shit, man. He got street shit going on. He lost his uncle. Did this, you know what I'm saying? Did that, like, that's why I think when Rex said something, you ain't show up. You know, people think, like, my uncle died. Let's go! Talk to him! Cause every battle that y'all had in New York City, Hitman was right there backing you hoes up. And at the biggest battle of his career against Arsenal, you f***ers don't show up. Oh, my uncle died. And that's a- You know what I'm saying? He was going through all this shit, and I kind of knew, so I kept it that. Like, I just played my part in the back. Like, you ever need me, call me. But I knew he was dealing with a lot of street shit, bro. You know, so that's just what it was. Ill, like the other stuff, took his mind over before he could really see the perks of this. You know what I'm saying? We weren't really making that much money in battle rap. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah, the bags Ill could be getting now. Like, that's what I'm saying. If he just would have stayed just right there, then he could have reached the forties. And you know what I'm saying? That he didn't really get to the. Make it to the, the perks of being ill and be like, I can leave this shit wrong. Like, you know what I'm saying? So, I knew that. He always, he's so cold, he can come back. You know, he came back with the two on two verb. Yeah. Did his thing. Yeah. He, he come. He came back and battled, he battled uh, Arsenal, he battled Bridge. Yeah, Bridge looked good. Three, yeah. four years off, come back and rock 2000. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's talent. 
No, it's dirt. It's just like lost the love for it a little bit. Do you know what kind of drama you are in, B? Um, well, Machete with the jagged edge. He's taking more than one L. Y'all brought boys to men. Well, these end of the road gun shells. When these straps are drew, hell, see them lift like dumbbells. I told Smack we can do it anywhere. One twelve. Yeah. Boy, yo. All right, man. One of my favorite battles you got. I want to talk about. And um. You and intergender battles are amazing. I, 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 people like you, Clean Paper, a few other battles that had the entertainment factor. I actually wish y'all did more. I know you jumped in the clips battle. Take me through how, how, did, how did the fair and shitty battle get set up? Like we just chilling. How fast did, it, did you write that and come like up with Like 35 that? minutes. So that was a, that was a battle of verb Saturday. That was Sunday. That was after that battle of verb. And everybody was in town, you know, everybody chilling and we in a hotel fucking around. You know, the girls just talking stuff like, man, I killed, I killed Webby and her. You know, I was, I was the biggest name in there. So, you know, they went for the top dog or some fresh out the bird battle. Like, what you want to do? We'll kill Holler. Or I think Pharaoh or Shumi was like that. One of them said it. You know what I'm saying? Like, what? I killed both of y'all at the same time. Like, some shit like that happened. They're like, and everybody like, oh, smack like, what's up? How much time niggas need, son? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Everybody like, everybody's all like, 30 minutes. Going on, you got 30 minutes? You got 30 minutes. And then, I don't know how long that rap was, but that was a, I was probably like a 24, probably. Might have been a 24. 24 had to write that mirror all over the spot. You know, we had there, Big T right there. Niggas, niggas right there giving ideas. I mean, talk about this or this and that. I'm in that going zone. I'm like, I'm gonna start that bitch off like, boom. You know what I'm saying? I'm in just working out. I came back 10 minutes later, like, listen to this, y'all. They like, go. I said, I'm gonna say the rest of y'all. Like, wait, I'm gonna say the rest of y'all. Wait till y'all see how I end it. You know what I'm saying? So niggas right there just, just fucking with me and shit. And, Came back, shit, 30 minutes later, they, they actually did good though. Yeah. That's why I was so, I was like, bro, if I was sure would have took this play, like, that's right. just me, like I said, I'm an athlete. Yeah. So if I would have just, I'm going to take shit serious. Like anytime I got something to do with competition, I'm going to take it serious. And I'm going to get, so I'm hearing they round, I'm like, damn. He like, uh, she, chest bumping me in, they jumping in, dissing on red, they, I'm like, ah. I got done, everybody like, damn! But I should just piss on you. Cause you a little niggas, little nigga. Mm -hmm. Can't see Anthony in this bitch. I just killed my little niggas, little niggas. Oh. So I'm a killer. So you know with that two two leg, that'll get you two viewed and leave you with another loose tooth rag? Well, slow it down. Oh. She did it. I did this too. I said, you know with this two two leg, mm -hmm. that'll get you two and you viewed? And have you with another loose tooth, Red? Mm. Like, fuck. And I start second guessing, like, did I write real? You know what I'm saying? And then, I just snapped out of it. And the funny thing, the people don't understand. <laughs> I lost my train of thought for real. I don't know how. Hey, man, what part? That shit, they'll go early again. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You, I you said it. That wasn't part of the rap. <laughs> I'll start that. Oh shit, go Earl. <laughs> you ghost writing with her? Writing balls? That's why she came with you? Now she die. See what that ghost writing gets you. I'm like, cause I was, I, you know, it was so quick. I was switching stuff still. I didn't really have, I wrote it together, but I was still trying to make it the best. I'm like, I think I should say that early. So I'm still switching shit. And I said it, and I was like, I'm finna say something, and I switched, I'm like, fuck. And I'm paused, I'm like, should I say this? So it wasn't really a choke, it was me really didn't know which one to say. Then at a split second, I'm like, ah, that's when the whole Earl thing came up. I go, Earl, they gave me some more time, everybody laughed, then I just went to it, you know what I'm saying? So, I ain't gonna lie, I thought that was, to this day, I think I thought that was better. Nah, that was me, I was really trying to see what the fuck I was finna say. And I just knew how to play off what was going on. It was hot then. Like, oh shit, they go Earl again. Everybody laugh. Mm -hmm. Then they laugh. I get back. I just snapped them to it. Like, let me get on. And then that was fire. All right, so let's jump to the Snoop Dogg event. I was in that building for that. Um, I 
bunch of one round battles. Mm -hmm. You battled Calico. Was that when Snoop put that together? Was that who he gave you or? Yeah, okay. Snoop. Um, I think Snoop. I don't know if that's what they gave me or Snoop asked Calico. <laughs> okay. I just knew I just got the phone call. Like, yeah, we want you to battle Calico. I knew now, Snoop at, at Calico. this time, the Midwest is still moving strong. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Big T, you got Big T, you got Cal, you got X Factor. I think JC by the time they see. Yeah, so all y'all are relatively cool still. Like, I mean, other than you and Verb Ballad, I know X Factor and, and Verb also battle. So, but for the most part, it's Midwest and mm -hmm. everybody else. In that, I thought that was probably, I actually think that's the lightest hit, man. Mm -hmm. you, were you surprised at how, how like, Cal was actually coming at you? Was it, it wasn't mm -hmm. like a conceited hitman battle. Yeah. It was just a bunch of, I'm going to throw Looking back, I know why, though. Like, looking back, I just know why. And he had a line in there about, uh, about show up, show up. Show with the mask on, Django, something, something, John. I know at that time you had just found out about your mom and, and, the, and the cancer situation. Uh, and then I'm creeping through his hood like Django. And if I happen to see his mama, that's a Django. Did, did, that line, did that line bother you? Did you feel like he crossed the line? Did you were you surprised at how hard he was going? At yeah, the time? Like, like I said, like. I be naive to some stuff, like I just be like, man, I am. He don't mean, he don't feel like, he don't, he don't be hating on me. I'm like, I ain't jealous of me, bro. He like, like, I ain't. So at the time, I'm like, man, I can only look back at it now and see why he went that hard and see why, because he really couldn't wait to do that. I only took it because I told him I had surf the next Friday, Saturday. You know what I'm saying? I got surf Saturday. I was coming off a battle, and I just found out my mama had cancer a week before. I'm like, but they're like, man, I think they gave me 6000 for one round. It was something that we had to take. Yeah. At the time, I'm like, I can't remember the, don't quote me on the numbers. It was something I had to take, six, five thousand one round, four minute round. I'm like, oh, I battle Calico. I'm like, we boys. Like, we put on a show, but I know, you know what I'm saying? I, it ain't going to be that. Like, that's my boy, my boy. You know, I got a battle coming up. Let's put on a show for the fans. Let me come up with something. I came up with that three days, four days, three days, four minutes around, three days. It is what it is. Like, I came into it that. I was still compete, competing. Then, like, I just took it on. I'm not trying to say I just did something, whatever said. I still wrote whatever, but my mind wasn't in it. My passion wasn't in it. It was more a check for sure because I had a big circle. And then you can tell. Like, that was the lightest hit, man. You said you probably seen. But then I probably gave you the best hit man the next Friday. The next Saturday. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I knew where all my energy had to go. And the summer man is boom. My mama just did. I wasn't really even, you never going to be able to deal with something like that with your mama. But I wasn't done with, it was so much, bro. It was like, my mama got, I don't even know if my mama going to be alive. You know, you're in the breast cancer in 2014. I don't even know how this shit worked. Like, breast cancer, you just like, my mama going to die. So I needed the money. So I was battling a homie, I'm like, it ain't gonna be, it's gonna be all right. So all that stuff play a factor. And I'm not the one that always be like, you know, you know, I never, you never heard me just say an excuse. Like, after the battle, I'd say what it is. I gave my all, this and that. Or, I ain't like my third verse kind, I tried something, my bad. You know what I'm saying? All I can do is make sure that never happened again. Has it happened again? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So with Kyle, just looking back, it just makes me be like, okay, it makes sense. That's all. Like, shit, it doesn't make sense. Like, he stayed up all night for that man. Like he couldn't wait for that. Meanwhile, I took it as a battle with my homie before we both finna get a bag. I got some madness for. I'm gonna hit I'm the main event of that next week. Come on, let's do it. So he came. I still don't think, but nobody never tell me his lines to me though. Like I mean, like everybody who come up to me and be like, I ain't really do nothing impressive, but they I hate when people try to put losses on me, like clear losses on me because they they can't do that to me because they can do that to their favorite battle rapper. That's how battle rapper go. I don't even judge one round battle. Like you and Rex and, and I, yeah, it's just like yeah, it's just like all right. But since it's me and they can't go up much, they gotta attack that. Oh, he lost it. Like come on, bro. Like, and yeah, but you know what? Be killing me about that. Niggas will look at that and be like, that's not even no measuring stick. Like I can look at it and say, yeah, maybe Kyle got the best of you in that battle. 
but it's nowhere near a measure yeah, stick to what try, this dial yeah, will be. How they trying to make it though, and how they trying to lost it, they trying to stick to my name. Real, like if we sit down and we being real, it's not that. Like I've seen people tell me I lost a verb. Okay, give me a reason. Yeah, man, you was doing good. The big girl, cool. You lost a server. Give me a reason. I don't know if it's close, man, but I think the press nine his third. Like, I got it makes sense. I be like, all right, I see where y'all going. Even though them still ain't clear loss because you still can argue mine. But how do y'all give me a clear loss or something like that? How? It's just niggas know they can't. They, I'm the only rapper who never got up there and got manhandled. I've never sat up there in the ring and nigga like he just was flat out real tired of that night. You can't say that. Yeah. I'm always going to go up there and do me and make it. My fans going to have something to say. They're going to be like, no. So got, uh, Hitman got the first. Surf got the third, the second depending on what's up. You know what I'm saying? Hey man, got the first two, Verb got the third. Like my fans will always be able to say something that's gonna be real. But the thing is with me, a lot of people just wanna be like, ah, he lost that. <laughs> you know, be like, shut up, bro. So I'm like, niggas gave him that. I like a lot of people wanna run with that. It's like, all right, what did he say? Like, what man? And the niggas be like, I watched all the best hitmakers ever and all that shit. I just never calico versus hitman on that. Like it's never like you know. So. It's like, all right, whatever, bro. We'll, we'll see. All right, before we transition on, man, I want to talk about, since you had brought your mom up, like, how's she doing right yeah. now? Yeah, my mom was. And just take me a little bit through that through that experience, man, of, of, for, for anybody that may be dealing with mm -hmm. someone that has a, that had to deal with cancer. Yeah, I mean, it, it taught me to, you know, stand, it's taught me to be a man because you never not need your mama. Your mama can be 80. You know what I'm saying? 90 years old. You never... This record? Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, it's never a time where you can be like, oh, you know, my mama led a great life. So, when it happened to her, that was the first time that I realized that my mama need me. You know, I always, you always look at life like you need your mama. That was the first time my mama really needed me to be strong and stand up because no matter what she was going through, if she would have seen me hurt and not being able to live my life and do what I had to do to support my family and the family, now that would have made shit worse for her. Uh -huh. So no matter how hurt I was, I couldn't show it. So I'm like, okay, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna show how much I support her. And every Wednesday, my woman cross Wednesday with my mama, started the whole breast cancer, L cancer, we got, you know what I'm saying? And that stuff, uh, somebody walked with me yesterday, Man, you helped me get through my mama dealing with breast cancer. I'll never forget how you put your mama, you know what I'm saying? I put the whole thing before the surf battle. You know what I'm saying? Me and my mama, um, me and my little brother and my pops. You know what I'm saying? Shout out my mama. I let know we ride in pink. You know what I'm saying? My favorite color. It's pink now. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm that deep with it. You know what I'm saying? Shave my head off. Shave my hair off. Like, I just had to be that for her. You know what I'm saying? She's a six year survivor. You know what I'm saying? I've been doing good, been living life, been smiling, been watching their sons do their thing, do their thing, and so everything good now, man. It was a, definitely was a tough, the toughest situation I ever been in. Cause not only you know I said I battled surf during that, I had just got on Wild and Out, but I just made it to Wild and Out. So I had to film my first season of Wild and Out, knowing that my mom was going through that, and second season, mm -hmm. you know, so. I had to find the willpower to, you don't ever know you can tap into that until it happens, you know, so I tapped into another space, the provider, the, the oldest son, you know what I'm saying, my little brother looking up, my baby brother, my little sister, you know what I'm saying, my pops led like he always do, you know, we just made it work. So anybody that's going through that, just gotta be strong, just gotta be strong. I know it's easy to say it's done, but trust me, the situation works better when you're strong because you're gonna help her. Yeah, man. Chris, I'm by checking in, man. I'm here with Promoter PV, man. You know, Hitman's manager. How, how did y'all partnership come about, man? I know y'all uh, been knowing each other for a long time. Yeah, me and Hitman grew up as kids. You know what I'm saying? We started uh, in the studio with Nelly back in the day. Um, literally as kids, you know what I'm saying? Coming up and just trying to find our way. You know what I'm saying? And then once we both became successful in our own rights, we kind of brought the business together. So that's kind of how we got together. Your, uh, what's your ceiling for Hitman, man? I know sometimes managers can see stuff in people that they don't even see in themselves. So when you look at Hitman and seeing everything he had to overcome 
And uh, obviously, he can be hot-headed and, 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 and tempered at times. A lot of people control. A lot of people say he emotional. So he say his passion. How do, how do you how do you uh, control that as his manager? Okay, just being him as manager, the, the, the beauty of it is I'm the cool one, meaning I'm the one that's less drama. We're going to walk away. We're going to get this bag. You know what I'm saying? We're not going to worry about the drama. He more of the high head, but he keep me to keep him cool. You see what I'm saying? So I kind of know how to kind of play him, man. I've been around him so long that I know exactly how to level him out. You know what I'm saying? To make sure that, yeah, like, yo, we ain't going to, we going to ignore that. Because majority of, honestly, he'll come to me and ask me, should he say things on the blog? You know what I'm saying? And I'll be like, nah, bro, you know what? We ain't going to work, focus on that. We're going to continue to get this bag. You know what I'm saying? Because keep in mind, bro, anything he do, we got MTV and all the other big networks and stuff watching. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And he just did a, a, um, a series with BET. So, I mean, we got so much big shit going on, bro. We can't let small-minded people who trying to get to our level bring us down. Now, how long y'all been knowing each other? We've been knowing each other for about 17 years. How surprised are you at Hitman's success? Man, I'm, he's probably I'm very like amazed successful. Man, because, like I said, bro, I literally say Hitman literally sleeping on the floors and where he came from. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm talking about all of us in one hotel room. Like, keep in mind, when we was young, we used to hang out with Nelly. You know what I'm saying? So we went on a tour or something. We all was really in one bedroom. You know what I'm saying? Like, one hotel room. They couldn't afford to get hotels for everybody. You know what I'm saying? So we all just kind of went in one hotel room. And just, you know what I'm saying, just kind of made it, you know what I'm saying, made it work, you know. And to see the success that Hitman's having now, man, it's definitely a, a, a blessing, man. I'm so proud of bro, you know what I'm saying, because we really came up and did what we supposed to do. And I think it's dope that he actually kept his circle with niggas that he grew up with. For sure, most yeah, definitely, that's most really, definitely, that's really most important. definitely, most definitely. And literally every single one of us has came up with him, man. It ain't nobody around us that's in our circle, within our group chat, within our core friends that has came since we've been successful. You know what I'm saying? Everybody has literally started from the bottom with us and is up with us now. Let's talk about Wild and Out. Uh, how did that opportunity come about? And there's been a lot of battle, not a lot, but there's been a few battle rappers that have tried to get on Wild and Out or mm -hmm. on audition. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, you've been someone that's been able to get on there and actually mm -hmm. been on the show for a long time. So take me through how you even got on there. Mm -hmm. The Hitman, I mean, the conceited put you on and, or, or, or lead you to the audition. Like, yeah, just yeah a lot of people, um, shout out to Conceited, but my nah, he ain't put me on. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Like, it ain't have nothing to do with Conceited or, or none of that. You know, as y'all know, Nick Cannon a fan of Battle Rap. So, you know what I'm saying? He watched Battle Rap. He reached out to Conceited the season before, season five. Like, man, I think you would be dope on this show. You know what I'm saying? That's what Conceited took off. And then that next season, he reached out to me like, performer, you know what I'm saying, a performer, like, at the time, the CD was just like the pretty boy rapper, like, you know what I'm saying, a battle rapper, he just wanted some, bring a little street to the MTV, you know what I'm saying, somebody like me, a lot of passion, a lot of performance, and a lot of character to the show, he thought I'd be good at, you know what I'm saying, so, you know, he reached out to me, like, man, I think you would be a big part of it, man, I mean, a good, a major part of the show, do you want to audition? You know what I'm saying? That was now, cool. what did you think when, when you got it? Because obviously it's Nick Cannon, yeah, million, I'm like, millionaire, hell somebody, yeah. but I mean, as far as you thinking how good you thought be on the show? I didn't know I was going to be good. and I just knew I'm good at battle rapping. Okay. I wasn't even thinking about the show. I'm like, I battle rap. Fuck it. Yes. Yes, I want to so go. At least I'm going to kill Wild Style. Yeah, that's all I knew. Yeah. Like, I'm like, yeah, let's get it. You know what I'm saying? And I ain't even had the money to get there. <laughs> like, so what, what did you audition at? New York, so you just had to get your own flight and hotel. That was Thanksgiving weekend, so the flights were like twelve, twelve hundred all together, and the room was like thousand. Like it was money I didn't have just to do to not know if I was gonna get the role or not. So I called my uh, close friend Jeremy Macklin. You know, he's a wide receiver for the Philadelphia Eagles. You know, Mike Vick, Deshaun Jackson, and uh, that team. You know what I'm saying? They never played with Kansas City Chiefs and Baltimore. Yeah, but you know. Outstanding, had an outstanding career, or whatever. So I called him like big opportunity. And Cannon just hit me. So I need to get to New York Monday. And it's, I mean, I have to get to New York Saturday. Today's Thursday. So can you please get this ticket for me? You know what I'm saying? I ain't really got 2,500 just blowing. Not even know I. He's like, yeah, man, just do me one favor, man. Just make sure you bring back the, the job. You know what I'm saying? When I'm there. 
did cool with our audition, got the job, and the rest is history. So, in the audition, what, what, are, they, are they having y'all like do the games? Yeah, it's like four people sitting just at a table like this, like Nick Cannon, executive producer, his assistant, his manager. And they sit there like, yeah, so the game let me holler. Let me see you holler at this girl. It was called Let Me Holler. It's a pickup line on a chick. Oh, oh, let's see, let's see. He thinks he's the man of this. Let's see where it started up. You just don't equal up to your sister. <laughs> oh my what'd God. What'd I say, what'd I say? No, no, hold on. Take this off, I'm out. What'd I'm, I say? I'm not staying here for this. What'd I say? Something horrible, I'm not, I'm not staying here for this. You ain't even hear me. No, 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 no. You say a little line, whatever. Wild style, you got Kevin Hart. What would you say to him? Now, obviously you did battle rap performing in front of thousands. Nervous. How nervous are you? Nervous. Nervous because I'm on my element. This ain't me in front of Smack. Yeah. It's me in front of Nick Cannon and these other MTV people. I'm like, I don't want to be too aggressive. I don't really know how to funny rap. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, your head big. I'm the 40 pop. You, jump, you know what I'm saying? I'm back, so I'm super nervous. Like, I don't want to scare these people. But what really won me over is my the way I look. Because the girl there was like, kind of smiling at me, and then Nick in the interview was like, you think he has a mind? She was like, yeah. You know, so I think they kind of gave my idea, like, girl, I might like him, because I don't even think I really killed the audition. Get into the rap portion. Khan just got you. Khan? I say, chill, Khan. They told me to battle you. I mean, I don't want to dismiss you, but your growth spurt just says, slow it down. <laughs> And just this I just cooked you. <laughs> yo, yo, you been hiding this? I was kind of terrible. <laughs> you know, it's a wild style. He brought everybody in who auditioned that day. We had a wild style. I killed them. You know what I'm saying? So I, mean, I did good with that. But as far as just the games on that, I wasn't clever yet. As far as that, I ain't find my character. But yeah, I was nervous though, but I made it happen. I do, I do want to ask you something about the surf battle real quick, uh -huh. because that was like my favorite remix. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. With the and everything, yeah. and I know that started in what the conceited battle. The little brother, him, had, yeah, yeah, him, yeah, him just jumping in. He, his first battle jumping in though was probably the surf battle. How do how do those come about? Are they on the spot? Is he looking at it like, yo, I don't fuck with surf either. I want to jump in. Yeah. Like, are y'all are y'all talking like how do how do these yeah, come about? Well, he my brother. He feel like me anyway, Paul. So he don't like nobody. So I ain't got never be like, well, I don't like him as much. This, so when he know me and Clips cool, you know, it's just gonna be like, it's right, for the show. Somebody like surf at the time. Yeah, nigga, you know, we ride. So I already know. Um, it just depends. I just start thinking about. Little things that they love for him to say, or like when they start, when I start seeing the character they love with him, I start thinking of stuff I know they want him to say. So it's like, K Shine, I knew they like, they know show real aggressive. He, he real soft spoken, he don't say much, but they know he up, he turns. So I know, oh, what? My brother out of jail. I know they gonna want him to say, don't make me go back. I'm a beast and you know that. I bring it to your show clap, my brother out of jail. Hey, nigga, don't make me go back. <laughs> so you know what I'm saying? I just come up with little shit for him to say. And he deliver every time. First of all, shout out to Show because his, his music is crazy. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? He's real talented. He's definitely man. been listening to the video he got with Kayshawn. That song, so cold. Like, yeah, that, that song, that song is definitely, definitely cold. Mm -hmm. Now. Gotta ride right with my gun, cause they won't get me gone. When I leave that house, I pray to God I make it home. It's a body for a body, you gon' shoot a what? If you ain't cut like this, then no, you can't hang with us. Gotta ride right with my gun, cause they won't get me gone. When I leave the house, I pray to God I make it home. It's a body for a body, you gon' shoot a what? If you ain't cut like show now, no, you can't hang with us. A lot of you niggas hoes, y'all ain't built like this When you come where I come from, you gon' see shit like this Mama dropping all these turns cause her son died Dead and gone. But that's the life he chose, was on that front line Soldier, nigga. All these dark clouds over us, we gotta even the score We 
go post up in a section, catch him going in the store, hop out, walk him down, do him very bad. Double back and hit his partner, they can't carry that. What's your, been your favorite battle that you've been a part of? Been a part of Surf, K Shine. I like the K Shine one just because I had just came home. I was locked up a couple days. And then we came up with that on the spot. So that's why I like, we did this for like two minutes, you know, right before you went on stage, we came up with something crazy. Yeah, how did, did y'all niggas get cool? Cause I know at one time, he man, man, the K-Shine, man. Rain, all them niggas. The Brotherhood, like shout, shout out to the Brotherhood, man. Okay. I'm a part of that, man. Oh, you, so oh, you better rap stop doing all that distance to the Brotherhood, man, you know? Nah, but me and K-Shine got cool through the Brotherhood, though. He had hit me up one morning. We was in the chat, like, man, show up. We gotta uh, get a song again. It about six in the morning. We just up in the chat, bullshitting around. So I ended up sending him a song that I already did. I wasn't even finna do the song. I just did a song, or did a little hook in the verse. I just like, I'm like, man, I'm done with that one. I had sent it to him, like, this type of vibe I be on. He sent it back, like, two hours later. I'm like, yeah, man, first done. I'm like, we're going to shoot a video to it. We shot the video, like, a year later, though. That's how the song was really old. You know, I dropped it last year. Did y'all shoot the video down there, down when you came yeah, out the the castle? Yeah, after the cast, we battled the next day. We shot the video to it. With us when I played the stoop. Shoppers hanging out like a saber tooth. Pay the troops. Every corner covered in a baby boots. Gang nigga, we don't ask no questions. We just aim and shoot. Grave diggers, I put niggas deeper than trade the truth. Shake and move. Halfway through the trenches. Hope I make it through. Gotta put this gun up for I make it to my baby squeeze. When I see the sun up, I think got another day of proof. I just pick my son up. Don't you walk into your daddy's shoes. My homies ate the cheese, it was breaking news Hope I ain't gotta tell his mama what he made me do Knew him since about three, shit, maybe two But I will have no tolerance for breaking rules I just bought a house, I'm paying tax now No, no, no more stepping on no crack mouths Trying to make this life a little easy for my black child I wish Jonathan could see us where we at now Gotta ride right with my gun, cause they won't get me gone When I leave that house, I pray to God I make it home It's a body for a body, you gon' shoot a what? If you ain't cut like this, then no, you can't hang with us What's a, what's a misconception about you, man? No, there's, there's, a, lot, there's, a, lot, there's a lot of narrative that People that, think I be walking around just being tough I don't even be tough, I be chilling, man I just, you know, yeah. we don't go for none of that tough shit Everybody else, you know I be chilling, man I don't really be doing too much I'm cool, for real yeah. Really laid back, talk a lot of shit with my people Man, what what is your favorite show jumping in? Battle where he where he jumped in? Like what's your favorite one? Don't go back. The the surf shit tricky because it's cold and it's the room so but the K shine just meant more cause he was fresh out of jail. Cause it was just the realest at the Yeah, it's just, it just like and then we had a problem with them. Like, we, you know what I'm saying? That whole lead up to the rain and me, all that shit that happened. He missed, he missed, he was in jail for that. Like, he missed, so he was ready. Like, nigga, don't make me go back. Like, I came up here, I'm willing to go back. What's up? Like, it just was so, the battle meant more. Men's, that's mean that, men's surface just be mad at the, the peak. Like, I was that, he was that. But the K-Shine, they really had me lose. Like, K-Shine was on the street. They really had me losing. We was really beefing with them. It was just more. I want. It was like yeah, explain the rain situation. Yeah. I, I wasn't around at that time either. Mm -hmm. So for me to even, you know, obviously I see, you know, he's like one of the really cool smacking Beasley, and mm -hmm. I see him. I was these at all the battles, but mm -hmm. to see, you know, I went back and watched all the clips to see the stuff he said about you mm -hmm. so easily. One thing I can say about you that's different than other battle rappers is I don't ever hear nobody really talking crazy about you other than Arsenal to promote mm -hmm. the battle. Mm -hmm. But I don't ever see nobody like, yeah, you know, Hitman ain't gonna do nothing when he mm -hmm. see me. Mm -hmm. Hitman fake. Yeah. You know, somebody might be like, I'll beat him in a battle. Yeah, but to, to, how did y'all, how did, how did that? That's why, that's why I was so confused because my thing is that, you know, they label me as this tough guy. They do. Everybody know I'm, I'm the, on defense. I don't never go into, I don't never wake up and be like, you nigga, y'all ain't gonna, y'all ain't, no, ain't no shit. I don't, that ain't my character. I get like that at the bullies. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm really, I'm really a cool dude. I get, get along with everybody. I be chilling. I just don't go for certain shit. You know what I'm saying? That's just all, that's, that's all I said, man. I came in this game like, yo, y'all be cool. I'm gonna be cool. I ain't gonna touch you. Don't touch me. 
I ain't gonna disrespect. How, how, how did you and Rain cross so, paths? That's what I'm saying. So, so y'all got y'all got really like no relationship. I yeah, mean, like I'm selling all the battles, but y'all, yeah, y'all ain't really like. If I'm not mistaken, all because, but if I'm not mistaken, yeah, because I'm finna get in tour with K. Shine and his people on stage with Verb. Yeah, Rain was right there. Yeah, but he was just breaking it up. You know what I'm saying? Like, wasn't much. Like, if I'm not mistaken, I have never even almost gotten to a rain, nothing. Right. So I can't really remember what, who I was talking to, but he jumped in and was like, nigga, niggas try to act all that tough shit. They know who to do that with or something. I'm like, man, I don't know if you're mistaking me, but I keep this same energy in person. You know what I'm saying? And he said something like, man, son, get your mama mouth up. I'm like, oh, it is on. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, oh. It was at that point. It was nothing, nobody in the world. And, nah, we good. You know, you, you keep talking. Okay, so um, I was not even mistaken. You know, so when he tweeted that, it was on. It was on the pop. So we um, oh that that might have that's what happened. We got a tour with T Top and Briz before the two on two battle, and that's what happened. So we. We ended up battling. I think they still talk shit. We was, I think I said something to like, man, I could have beat one of you niggas. I was just saying whatever we was saying. I got the stuff playing me. And then he jumped in from that. Okay. So he jumped in from that or whatever. I think I was talking about T-Top or whatever. I was saying he jumped in from that. That's what me and him then. So me and K. Shine's in the battle. And I'm like, all right, well, man, we see you then. You know what I'm saying? So I ain't really care about the battle no more. I want it. Came, we came up there strictly for one thing, bro. That's the C Rain, I mean, whoever he was with, let's make it happen. But leading up to it, I guess, you know what I'm saying, like his big homie, or you know what I'm saying, his uncle or big homie, or I can't remember who exactly he is to him. He told him about the situation. You know what I'm saying? His man like, yeah, we gonna, we gonna handle that shit, this and this. Cause his big homie don't know nothing about battle rap. So he don't really know Hitman, he don't know nothing. But he found out where I was from and called St. Louis. Call some big dogs from St. Louis, you know, like, yo, it's Hitman, nigga, who is this? He got a tour of my nigga, like, what are y'all like? We finna handle like some shit like that. The nigga he hopped in the car, having to be my uncle. He like, Hitman. Nah, as he was as he was asking, yo, I got some nigga in St. Louis, and my uncle listening, he said, Hitman, like, that's my nephew. So when he found when he told my uncle how real it was, my uncle drove all the way from my side of town to where I'm at. I was like, I gotta talk to you. You know what I'm saying? I can get in the car. He like, yo, you got a tool with such and such? I'm like, yeah, how you know? He like, man, you know Rory get back to me, but I guess it's big on me, you know, that's my man, you know what I'm saying? Like, he legit. I'm like, oh, that's what's up. <laughs> but you, you like, eh? I'm like, oh, that's what's up, like, no disrespect to him. Rain getting it. I thought I felt that time, I don't give a f- like, when they gonna have to kill me. This is what he said. I showed him what he said, and called him back. He got on the phone. Shout out, his name G to K. We cool now. That's my dog. He good with, with Chuck. Like, we good. Like, he Ross, big right hand man. So, they knocked him. But G to K get on the phone. You know what I'm saying? It was just like, yeah, man. Um, he's telling me it's a problem. This and that. That's a little homie. He good. Or, it ain't going to be that. Whatever he said. I said, he told my mama something, something. something. He got to see me. I need the fade. I need something. Good for who he know. I don't care what's going on. I need the fade. You know what I'm saying? And he was just like, Nah, he ain't fighting or something he said, like some like something. I said, well, what, what are we talking for? And my uncle took the phone. I was like, man, I'ma talk to him, this and this. Got off the phone. Told him, man, I don't give a fuck about nothing. I'm like, man, I gotta come up there with you in New York. You outside your place. Well, I'm like, man, I'm flying with 10. You no, know, I said, oh my god, I said it's 10 of us, man. He gotta see me. I don't give a fuck about nothing. I'm gonna they gonna have to whoop me. He got to see me. That's what he said. Uncle ended up leaving. He said, ah, I'm gonna probably come with you, whatever. We ended up seeing him. G to K, I had told my guy, um, Nick Cannon manager, Nick Cannon manager, street cred, Chuck, he from, he from Fillmore, he had me nigga from the Bay. I said, yeah, man, we got to some guy named G to K called me on the phone talking to my uncle, this and that, he, he supposed to be like that? He was like, I know G to K, yeah, he know me. He rolled G to K on his picture, yo, it's Frisco Chuck, man, let me holler at you. You know what I'm saying? They're calling each other. He's like, man, that's your nephew, man. I see, I keep running to everybody that know him. He's like, yo, I don't know what happened, but we just need to sit down and talk. So, we had, um, this time, I'm not talking nobody. I already told Chuck, y'all talk. I'm not talking. I want to fight. So, 
We had a Wild and Out show Friday. I battled Case Shine Saturday. They had a Wild and Out show in New York Friday. Chuck there, everybody there. I was supposed to go to a dinner to meet Cort I said Cortez, Rain, and GDK. Me, Chuck, Rain, GDK. I told Chuck, leading up to him, I'm coming. I'm going, yeah, I'll be there. Not going. They don't want to fight. I don't want to talk. I'm not going. When I see him, it's on. They came to the Wild and Out show. My people already know is is home with rain. So my nigga say, yo, I think I should walk past rain. <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> it's backstage. I'm like, man, rain ain't on backstage no wild now. Chuck told him to come up there. Right. My dog Mo, you know what I'm saying, from Luda's Park, my little bro. He walked past rain and said, nigga, what the I'm so nervous. I'm like, no, this can't happen here. I'm like, I wasn't expect, I'm expecting to see him at the battle. Like, this can't happen here. This Mick Cannon's a wild enough show. It's a tour. No. Mm -hmm. so Mo walked up to GDK. This is the toughest shit I've ever seen in my life. Well, Mo walked up to GDK, man. What the fuck you with? GDK said, it look like I with. They both had it. Like, Mo just beat 200 lights. <laughs> like, two double life sentence. You know what I'm saying? GDK had it. Everybody know them niggas shoulder to shoulder. Like, nigga, who the, what the fuck you on? Like, and niggas say, man, and Mo said, man, you go outside. And GDK said, that's exactly where we going. And like, they shoulder to shoulder. Wow. Like, so they walking shoulder to shoulder, circling, going up the steps. Like, nigga, is that no money out coming? It's me and him going out here. I'm like, who else is tough on nigga? We all get outside. Mo like, nigga, he like, yeah, nigga, where you from? Mo like, nigga, Lutus Park, Pie Room, nigga, Bompton, nigga, where you from? You know, GDK said where he was from. He was like, nigga, nah, nigga, work that Nigga, rain, and then my, my hand is it, it, up. So rain come out. I'm right there. I'm like, yeah, man, huh? We got we to gotta get this out of the way. You know what I'm saying? Like, for whatever reason, rain ain't really want to fight. And I said he was scared, so they ain't really coming up for that. So I'm trying to downplay rain, say he wouldn't fight me. But I wanted to fight. We ain't fight. GDK, like, let them niggas talk. But before we did that, GDK said, nigga, I know niggas in Bompton. Pulled out his phone, then my uh, uh, other homie Rich Red, you know what I'm saying, from Cedar. That's um game right here, man. This and that. He said, Where you from? He said, I'm from Cedar Block Pie Root. He said, I know niggas from there too. So, you know, GDK calls people like, yo, yeah, I know such and such, such and such. They're like, yeah. <laughs> the niggas are right. you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. So everybody kind of just looked, because he was on speakerphone. That was gonna let everything be known. Niggas like, man, don't fucking goofy. Like, like, nah. So they kind of just kind of squat like, all right, you know what I'm saying, new mutual people. They said, all right, man, all right, cool, cool, cool. And that kind of settled down. Me and Rain talk. I told Rain, I said, bro, listen, this ain't me on no tough shit. Nigga, I came here to fight you, bro. But the type of nigga I am, bro, as long as you apologize the way you said the disrespect, like on that platform, like I don't want to apologize to me. Don't call him on the phone. Like, bro, as long as you just apologize to my mama, on the internet, the same way the disrespect was at, as a man, I'm cool, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, the image they try to give me, I wouldn't have did that if I was really this tough guy. I had my niggas here, it was only two of them, we could have really got at it. I just really wanted a sincere apology, like, bro, I don't know what made you say that, but this ain't never gonna be that. You know what I'm saying? It ain't ever gonna be that. I'm really not these other niggas not trying to be, we gotta either fight or you gotta apologize on camera. You know what I'm saying? He was like, bro, as a man, just on some man, like niggas, niggas ain't scared to get down or whatever, this and that. But I was wrong, and why I had nothing to do with it? Like he just told me for out, he was wrong. Cause it ain't no rocket science. He know it was wrong. I don't tell that you wrong. My mama did. My mama was rescued. Like it's, you know what I'm saying? So he was just like on some real shit. Like I was wrong, bro. I ain't got no problem doing that. I'm like, oh, we good then. You know what I'm saying? I told everybody we good. We came to a solution. That's what happened. So the next day. You know, he ain't do it that night. So the next day was a battle. So I just came to Francis Smack. He ain't apologized yet. He can't be on stage. Because then it would have been, he would have, he would he just say he wouldn't have did it. Then he on stage. I ain't do nothing. Don't nobody care about this backstory. You know what I'm saying? You know how many times I'm going to have to tell this story to be like, no way. Like, no. He can't be on stage until he do that. I mean, he got to do that. Or is he to do that before, or he can't be on stage with no problem? So that's why he went on stage for the K. Shine battle. But then you know, I'm doing it that night. You know what I'm saying? Then when him got good, we either got 
coolest his name, you know, just some young cat head shit. So it's, it's smacking them, trying to hit you up behind the scenes too? Like you and Rain got to need to work this out? Or um, can, or? um, yeah, they hit me up. They, um, it was so real that they hit me up and they just sent my money. They cashed out me my money or whatever the reason they gave me my money. They ain't even want to, you know, you they just book the hotels. You know, they booked me in, you know what I'm saying, Times Square, wherever I want to be at. They just gave me the minute, like, yo, we don't even want to know where you going to be at. We don't want you to think we got the drop on you just in case you see rain and they think, you know what I'm saying, as a setup, like, here go your money, you book your hotel wherever you want to book at. But y'all, they, they, they wanted us to squash it, but I just told they knew if it wasn't no apology or one other, it was pretty much couldn't be squashed. It is certain shit that can't get said. You know what I'm saying? So, but they, but they, they wanted to, don't nobody want that kind of drama at the events. You know what I'm saying? Like niggas grown, getting money. Yeah. What's up? What's up? What's up? What's happening? How you doing? Oh, yeah, come on. <laughs> How y'all doing? Where y'all coming from? Uh, oh, shit. Gang, gang. Look, she ran. Real, for real. Yeah. 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 Nah, you know, uh, the thing is, it get more and more, like, at first you go from, I don't want people to notice me, you know what I'm saying, to so, like, I can be eating, I can do whatever, they gonna come, but it's just like, I work hard for that, I don't mind, I'm, some people ain't good with the people in there, I'm a people person. I want to ask you something, because you battled Byron Blake for 10000 you battled KD, shout out to KD. Well, he gave me 10000 Okay. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, gave you ten thousand. Uh, KD for a thousand dollar bet on, on the fly. Yeah. What do you say to criticism that you may have not have done enough for St. Louis up and comers? Like I was always you and you and mm -hmm. Verb, mm -hmm. but then you know there's the Metas of the world, the Big Will, the mm -hmm. Juzillas, the you no, know, not be Magic, but like all of those people under that, just just Juice. What do you say to people that say? You didn't do enough to help them get on. What would be your response? I gave MVP a platform. I would co-sign MVP. You know what I'm saying? The people I fuck with, I did what I could. Like, as far as like what they want me to do. Like, I don't have no lead. Like, you know what I'm saying? So what? But the only reason why I say that, because a lot of times I hear battle rappers say, like, Man, I ain't really studying that shit, man. I'm trying to, you know, do my own league or put it on my own battle event. Try to put niggas on my own, my city on. Mm -hmm. And they might feel like they're top tier so that they can attach themselves to a car. Mm -hmm. You battle a lot in St. Louis, but it's always been bigger battles, except for the King Juice joint where he put Judge Juice and B Magic on. But it's always been big events where the smack niggas came down and battled on the car. And, um, you know, I guess that, like, you say Byron, you say Byron Blake is looking for a cloud and attention. One of his complaints, oh, you know, hit man, you know, did about it, ain't really promote it. Like, that's one of his things or whatever the case may be. Now, if you're not obligated, out, you're not obligated to promote it. I promoted it. The, everybody who was there was there for me. No, but let me, let me ask you this. I know he's saying that because as much as he may say, well, I ain't really want to battle. I just had some money and wanted to battle Hitman. I didn't want to try to become this big battle rapper. But we wouldn't even be talking about it if you didn't want some type of attention from that. So... He would be one of the smaller people that was like a co-sign from Hitman could have kind of, mm -hmm. you know, got me here and there. So do you feel like, what do you say to people that's like, you know, Hitman, Verb, and all them niggas didn't really do enough once they got, once they got big or got on? Do, do, would that be a fair criticism? Would that just be outlandish? Would it be like I helped the niggas that, that I fuck I, with? I mean, help? it's outlandish because first... I'm from St. Louis every time they see me, so me doing whatever I'm doing is going to always shed light on the city. That's first. Okay. Second, me even accepting the battle was the win for him. I'm coming off Sue Surf, Summer Madness 4, Headline, Summer Madness 4, Urban Plaza or whatever. Me doing this is the look you need. 
He just wanted me to put his name on my bio and like, what did you want me to do? I took the battle, promoted the battle, got people inside the battle, and got the battle at two million views. What more do you want me to do? And everybody else who battled, I don't have no lead, so it ain't like I'm not putting people on my lead, it's word of mouth. MVP doing his thing, I put, hey, I think MVP should do this. And battle up to my right, please introduce yourself. MVP, Word War, Street Status, Cracking. What's up with y'all? Rest in peace, my guys. Let's go. MVP, yo, they trying, yo, ask them. You know what I'm saying? Like, everything I do is I do it for St. Louis. You know what I'm saying? Men, we brought smack to St. Louis. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know what else I, like, what else. Like, like, what else should I do though? You know what I'm saying? I'm just saying, if you're going to say I'm doing enough for St. Louis, all that I've done, I can't see. I, I, if a nigga told me you ain't did this, I, I would have to hear what you say I ain't did. Yeah, all I'm, not, I'm not saying, I'm not saying it's a, a fair criticism. I'm not even saying I heard that a lot either. Yeah, I'm, I'm just trying to, I don't understand. But sometimes I be hearing, that's a common thing that people will always try to say with someone that made it out of their city. Mm -hmm. Oh, he ain't really doing nothing. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I know Verb and uh, Verb even had a similar thing about about Nelly or something. He felt like Nelly and him didn't really. Mm -hmm. uh, but, I and then when, when I got older, I understood that. And ain't Nelly ain't did enough for the city. It just it's hard to put 20 people on when you got to put just eight people on. <laughs> so Nelly got on. You got to put Murphy Lee on. Yeah. Got to put Keywine on. You know what I'm saying? Got to put City Spud on. You got to so he got to do that. Then he got nephews that rap, like you know what I'm saying. So he got to do what he want to do. Like, why would he go out and put all these other people on? His people ain't really on. Yeah. So it's, it's easier said than done. You know what I'm saying? Like, so I get on. I'm a battle rapper from St. Louis. It's on TV every day. That's on multiple TV shows and movies. I'm in St. Louis. That alone is bringing light to the city. Yeah. If you battle rap, I'm already helping without even helping. Let, let me let me let me transition and ask you this. I just always kind of wondered, and I'm not saying I heard it from anywhere. Or anybody said anything? There was always Verb, Hitman, Ill, y'all three. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? The St. Louis. Uh, obviously, they had other people that came up. You know, like I said, as far as Meta, he had a pretty good, a few good battles with Cortez. Mm -hmm. B Magic was someone that became top tier. He battled Clips, he battled DNA, he battled Tay Rock. Like he really blew up kind of like after y'all. Mm -hmm. How close are you actually to, to be Magic? I'm not saying there's an issue, but I mean like, when I went back and watched Summer Madness 4, I think B Magic battled. Conceded. Conceded. I always felt this rapport where you and Verb kind of like stood behind each other, that support, mm -hmm. not so much with Magic. Last time I really seen like you and Magic together, like on camera, was really in the, in the hotel room when, when you battled up Fair and Shooty, like all the battle rappers in mm -hmm. there. Um, and it's not this thing where just because you from the same city, y'all niggas gotta be like this. Mm -hmm. How how was y'all relationship with Magic over over over? I mean, it was it started off rocky anyway because he came up kind of dissing us because he felt like we ain't missing him in the big three all the time, you know. But it, it like, it ain't no knock to him, it just wasn't. It was the big three, it was me, Bill, and that's just us. It ain't like we saying, y'all, I can't come here. It's just like, this was us. We did this. You came a couple years later, so it's like, that's your own history with your group. Right. So every time a nigga asks me about St. Louis, you know what I'm saying, I talk, I shout out everybody, salute to everybody doing it, this, this, and that. But you know what I'm saying, my big three, one, two, three. We, we put this on. And I guess that was a problem. So this is always here, little slick shots. And, now, nah, we ain't with them. We our own shit. So when I just saw that, I just kept my distance. Like, all right, you know what I'm saying? No problem. But I said, I heard the shot. So you got a problem. I'm cool. You know what I'm saying? Then recently, a lot of people don't know me and be magic. I, like, he just do so like, he in a video with Rum Nitty. He in a, he in a video with Rum Nitty dissing me. Oh, if y'all feel low, like we're Holloway. I'm a paid hitman once I pop the stack. Ramnitty dissed to me, be magic is in the video. Yeah. You know, so it's just stuff like that. But and I, I use this example on Twitter and everybody act like I was so crazy. 
Like, I love kids. I never diss a nigga kid, diss a nigga son, daughter, nothing. But this is how my brain operates. Be Magic called me one time and said, yo, my daughter love you. Do you mind saying happy birthday to her? FaceTime, let her know you talk to her. Happy birthday, FaceTime, I appreciate your love. Your daddy a dope battle rapper, he's just like me. Mm -hmm. I get online and he's, oh, why Nick Cannon put out this trash? Hitman, the Red Squad, these niggas trash. Talk to us before y'all put out this trash. Embarrassing, all oh, this dissing stuff, right? Like, dissing us. The way my brain is work is, if you know you can call me and I can make the most important person in your world happy, I feel like you shouldn't be dissing me on the internet. Yeah. That's just how I think. If that's just so outlandish for people to understand, because people are like, well, he, he got his, he should have, he got his opinion. He don't gotta think it's fire. I don't. I'm not saying he gotta think it's fire. But if I call you and say, yo, my son, love how you interview. Can you give him a little five minute interview so he can feel like something? You do that for me. I owe you the respect to not dish you on no platform. What sense does that make? And then you gotta know how social media is and how people take it. It's just like. With me, I can't say nothing about a blogger. Mm -hmm. It's some type of, and you and B Magic are battle rappers. Mm -hmm. So it's always that, it's gonna be that competitive nature even if it never, y'all never said y'all wanted battle. Mm -hmm. I say anything about, I didn't like a blog mm -hmm. a battle rapper did. And I don't mm -hmm. really like that blog Caps did. Mm -hmm. Man, Chris was dissing you. Mm -hmm. And so, yeah. I, being that I know that, I can't say anything about one of my peers. Mm -hmm. So and, and my thing is, so when I see him dissing me on the internet, it's like, I wrote a tweet like, bro, how can you find it in your heart to diss me or talk down on something about me when I just told your daughter happy birthday on FaceTime for you? Then I saw other niggas like, um, oh, you brought his daughter in this, what? Like, you know what I'm saying? I ain't bring his daughter in this, he did. I'm not dissing his daughter. I ain't bring his daughter in and this, he did. So if you will enough, if I'm dope enough for you to bring your daughter to our world, my energy, how can you, you know, you owe me respect, bro. You know what I'm saying? What's the other battle rapper? Um, he battled, um, had the good, the Tay Rock, had the good one round with Tay Rock. From St. Louis? No, nah, no, nah, from, uh, I don't know where you're from. Bad News? Bad News. Okay. I asked Bad News because I did the same for Bad News, I believe. I asked Bad News, I said, am I tripping because a nigga dissing me on the internet and I'm asking him, how can you diss me if I just did a favor for you and your daughter? And he say, um, yeah, I think you tripping. I'm like, how? I didn't say nigga, f your daughter, nigga, you. I didn't say no, none of such. I would never. I'm trying to understand, why do you think it's cool to diss somebody you just had to do, the, do a favor for you? A family favor? Yeah. Is that too hard to understand? And these guys don't act like they don't understand how I think. If I ask a nigga to do something for my son, I can't diss him on the internet. Mm -hmm. It's impossible. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I'm just like, bro, you know what? I just left him alone. I just don't I don't speak to him again. Like I just see, I don't understand how niggas roll. Like, and that's the kind of shit that I see and I just fall back. Like, you know what, bro? And they call me emotional because of the way I think. No, I just think like a real nigga have morals. You ain't gonna never do something for me, Chris, and you're gonna find me disrespect. It's just impossible. I don't my brain don't work like that. You do something for me, I got to keep it one way with you until you cross the line. If you did this solid for me, I got to be solid with you. I can think you got the worst song in the world. I owe you enough to not say it publicly. Yeah. <laughs> because I'm doing shit behind closed doors for you. So why would I diss you in front of the world? Don't you be adding up the way these niggas move. You know what I'm saying? Like same thing what happened with Calico. Calico, if you say I'm your brother, we like this, I owe you something. So if I do something and your friend is making fun of my girlfriend, saying they want to do this, 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 and that, what are you laughing at that publicly for if you're supposed to be my dog? So now it's just like you don't care because if the, if the shoe was on the other side of the foot, on the other foot, I'm not laughing at that because I'm cool with you. I'm like, I can't laugh at that. Kyle, I'm cool with them. Not saying you can't be cool with him or he, the nigga who laughing to laugh. Cool. You can't laugh at that because you're cool with both. You're supposed to be like, ah, he don't feel some kind of way. I can't do that. A nigga, you just get jumped and my nigga laugh and I'm laughing at him laughing at you. You'll be like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Niggas just don't think how I think. So it, it's just real simple to me. Like they make it difficult. It's real simple math for me. Two plus two is four. Easily. 
they make it difficult because niggas ain't really have no fathers in their life and shit. So they don't know how to be a man. You know what I'm saying? They don't know how you should move, bro. I move the correct way. That's just all. That's all that is, bro. Never there. Busta Rhymes, Big Diddy, Drake. I performed in front of them stars. Some of Madness 1, some of Madness 2. Four, no, man, you're a secret admirer. Your name wasn't no none of them cards. <laughs> you got a shotgun, Shug. Grudge match, you know, you got a lot of those in your career. And uh, in round three, you said that you had started gangbanging at 13. That was something you said in the battle. You told me you start gangbanging when you was grown. Y'all let them skip the rules. I was gangbanging at 13 when it wasn't cool. My first question, are you, are you shocked how much gangbanging is talked about or how many people actually do it in battle rap? Because as I... Now, I've been blogging a long time, so you look at like 2011, I started blogging. Mm -hmm. Obviously, there was you, there was Surf, Arts, Shug, maybe someone else. That's kind of it. Now it's like Twerk like, Drugs, like, like, Jack Boy Main, Geechee. This like, it's like it's cool to do, almost to, and when I say cool to do, I'm not saying that people aren't really living the life they live, but I mean, I know it's when I was locked up, it was like cool to be a game bang, even though Niggas just do it for protection. Mm -hmm. I like something they, they did. Mm -hmm. So it kind of took away the essence of what people that really mm -hmm. did it for. Mm -hmm. So I guess my question to you is, because you know Calico was like, who, who jumped Hitman in? Who did this? Mm -hmm. Is that something that was part of your family growing easy. up? That's or like, that's easy. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? That's why I'm confused on who are you to even say like this? Like my big cousins all bloods from Kenlock. You now, know what I'm saying? Now educate me. Is there like an initiation? Because you know when I was locked up, it was like, and man, I black, man, and you, I, you had to beat ten niggas in order to get in. It ain't like that. And I black mob game. I'm in a game called Black Mob. We all got, got down with each other, fight each other, and we all started it. That's we jump niggas in. Like we started that. You know what I'm saying? And my family, I I was born into that. My cousin with my snub L, my cousin turns and all kill my you know, his bloods and this and that. Got bloods on the scan, got crips in the scan, my whole family, bloods and crips. My entire family is blood and crips from each side of the city. Hmm. People try to act like I just woke up like, oh, you know what? I like that color. I'm this. But if you notice though, you ain't gonna never see somebody from St. Louis. Have you ever heard somebody from St. Louis say, Oh, you a fake this. Verb whole third round was, I didn't have to be that. He tried to make it. He ain't painted like, oh, you. he really, like, why you doing this? You got that. Why you out here wild? I was out there wild. Yeah. When you out there jumping niggas, they don't know them, they know you. His whole third round is telling me I didn't have to do that. Yeah. I mean, I mean, that's how he tried to paint. Yeah. But he never was saying like, lies, you want this, you want that, you want that. His whole third round was telling me, I was out there being stupid because I have to. Like it was that St. Louis. It, I, I see where a nigga from. I'm not the gang police, so I can't say where you from. Like who who did this to you? I you that? All right, is it whatever, whatever. Like I don't got the authority to say who did what. Like Kyle, who the fuck you ask me that? You ain't from St. Louis. You don't know nothing. If I told you all, Greg jump me in. You know Greg? <laughs> right, right, right. You know what I'm saying? Like niggas just be want to sound cool. Who jumped me in? Like nigga, who the talking to. Now, now educate me on this because obviously I'm not from that background and I, mm -hmm. I don't claim to be. I guess growing up I used to take Bloods and Crips couldn't hang together. Yeah. So but that's the thing. How, how did that how did that change where part of my family blood yeah. part of my family because crips? in the motherland they really don't which is in California you know that's what's that. Okay. St. Louis gang bang different. I'm from a whole nother region. Yeah. It was cool we had Bloods and Crips in the same neighborhood. It was all about our neighborhood versus yours. So put it like this. If I'm if you from the west side and your mom didn't get a little money or something to move to the North County, which is a better neighborhood, a little more, you know what I'm saying? A little, little money, not really too much better, but enough to get from A to B. You go there. I'm a blood. You from the north side. You a crip. Your mama get a little money and move you to the North County. Now y'all both in this new neighborhood. Me and you cool. It ain't, I'm this, I'm that. It wasn't none of that in St. Louis. Well, as gradually as my era, like, you probably don't know how I started. You know what I'm saying? Like, as far as how deep it was on blood versus crib in the eight, but I, it was never blood versus crib in St. Louis. It was neighborhood versus neighborhood. So, me and you both live in this new neighborhood now. And then four more niggas come. Now, we got ten niggas like that, three bloods, four cribs, 
and we just one clip, but we rep this hood. So we yelling out, fuck this hood and fuck that hood, but it ain't fuck bloods and crips, because we one hood. So we can say, I'm in tour with you from Pine Line. You know what I'm saying? I'm from this side of the street, man. Fuck Pine Line. Like, it's all about whoever lives in Pine Line. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's how that shit go. It was never blood versus crip, really, in St. Louis, us growing up. Yeah. It, it, I mean, you know, it still stemmed from it. Like, you still, I have, but we weren't like, oh, here, crip, we ride. It was more like, where are you from? What gang you in? Like, are you in Black Mob? Are you in this? Are you rep this? Like, it's more about the who, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's how it You know, that, that's stuff interesting to me because when I used to talk to like OGs in jail and they'll be like, man, you know, back in the day, Bloods and Crips, they like protected the community. Yeah, because, it all because, changed. Because, because the, uh, you know, the police. Because the cops. The, yeah, the game so started. Like, the, now, the game started to protect the neighborhoods from the cops. Yeah. You know, inside beef happened and inside, you know what I'm saying? Just that's everywhere. GDs and BDs was one. Yeah. They happened, they ain't too like it's everywhere you from. That's what I'm saying. I can't talk to you about where you from. Yeah. A nigga can't tell me about where I'm from and what the I've been through and what I how we did it. How you gonna tell me I was in game banging and I was in a million game fights with game members? Like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Niggas be but I don't glorify that because that ain't just something I want to glorify. I don't go around saying, nigga, I did this. I rap about it or let niggas know what's up. But I don't go in interviews and say, nigga, I was this. At the limelight, like, nigga, it was 80 of us, nigga. Blue, red, 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 whatever niggas we would do. We did this. We did. Well, I didn't do that. Yeah. Now, now, you said that you recently moved. And part of the reason, if I, I might be wrong, so don't quote me. Part of the reason was because of, of who you are, who you had became, and the potential trouble that you could still get into with. Yeah, I'm still getting in trouble though. Like, do, do you, is, is it a hard balance being hit man yeah. wilding out in my past? Yeah, because like, I still live from, I gotta still live with the consequences of the shit I did. Like, your enemies just don't all go away because you get famous. Yeah. Your enemies just don't go away because you rich. You know how, what I'm saying? How you feel about popping up on like hella flyers all over? I mean, it was like, scary. Yo, yeah. Like this lifestyle that people think it's scary because I'm not a scary nigga. So if I see a nigga, he's stern. It's like, what's up? It's like, what's up? I fuck with you hit, man. Oh, okay. But the same start could be a setup. What's up? I fuck with you hit. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? That's why I keep it on me. That's why I don't want niggas walk up to me and I'm timid. But it's scary. I don't know who mad at what. A nigga girlfriend can love me. He hate me. Can't wait to meet me. <laughs> a old, you know what I'm saying? An old nigga I knocked out somebody, people before. I don't know who's approaching me. That's why I'm always on team. That's what the bodyguards are for, though. Like, people think bodyguards are for, I'm scared. No, bodyguard, because you don't need to just walk up on me. I don't know you. You know me. Yeah. So, if you can just walk up on me, free me, you can shrink, you can swing, and then I gotta shoot you down. I gotta put, you know what I'm saying? Like, I gotta do too much. A bodyguard, yo, yo, who are you? I'm a fan. I don't want a picture. All right, just in case something do get wild, we can handle it. So, my face on the flyer, it's just like now, I don't go around, I, I, like the situation when I got robbed in Cali, that wasn't because I'm soft. Yeah. It's because I'm not a scary nigga, so it's me and two plus in the projects we don't supposed to be at, I'm showing love, taking pictures of the whole project, you all got that one nigga like, what are you getting all that love for, fuck him, man, give me that, what I'm going to do? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm in a, I don't even supposed to be here. First of all, I'm not from here, don't rep here, don't know I'm here. I got $30,000 watches on, all this, I'm walking next to niggas who don't got shoestrings. Like, I'm supposed to be here. So a nigga catch me lacking up and then rob everybody, how's that make me look, that just make me look dumb like I'm supposed to be there. Now I can't even really get revenge because it's like, if I got revenge, guess where I gotta go? There. I gotta choose my, my beefs wild. Why I got, I'm beef with niggas who also got money, who also move, it's, a, it's an even playing field. Okay, you gonna be in Chicago. Yo, you, you know, you know, don't nothing bother me then and listen to a nigga. Man, I never got caught lacking. Or man, nigga can't just walk up on me and pull out a pistol. It's like, bro, it's so I got robbed. I got robbed one time before too, and it's just, it's so easy. It ain't about nothing. And it could be the weakest nigga. That's the crazy thing. It could be a nigga that you know you'll stomp out with your hands. It, and a nigga just be like, he just catch you slipping. It got nothing to do with you. Is it's just all about what's happening now? Just like now. You could be doing this interview with me, and I knew you was coming to do this interview with me. We right here. Chilling. Hold on, let me show the room. Ain't nobody, ain't nobody in here. Yeah, no, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Ain't nobody. Uh, the hitman got a lot of people, but yeah. ain't no, ain't nobody in here. And listen, I could be like, we're doing this interview right now. I could just be like, yeah, come down here, Rob. He come right here, put the gun. What are you gonna do? 
Do that make you soft as a man? Nah. Do that make you look some kind of way as a man because you just got robbed because you right here doing an interview and they can come right here with the gun up. Give me this camera. What you supposed to do? So my thing is, that taught me a lesson because I'm so lackadaisical. Like, I'm so nonchalant. I, I know I can fight. I ain't the best. I'm just saying I know I'm willing to fight, so I don't mind being in certain places. Like, they go down, we ready. You know what I'm saying? And now I just know I got to always keep my gun because somebody want to make an example out of me. Somebody broke. They want money. I got old beef and all that. And I can't trust everybody. I think everybody's showing love. I got a big heart. I took pictures with the whole project. This is in my phone. I took pictures with the whole projects that day. They all love me. They still hit me like, bro, that was fucked up. What happened? You know that one nigga you can't control. Like, he don't give a fuck about nothing. That happened. That's cool. I took it on the chin. I just moved smarter now. That ain't got nothing to do with like he's an easy lick. You know what I'm saying? That ain't got nothing to do with or he'll walk in. Niggas know what got to happen behind it or what's going to happen or, you know what I'm saying, when the time come or when you catch or whatever, it just be smart. So that's why I don't mind. A lot of niggas don't like talking about what happened to him because a lot of niggas be easy targets. They know that's an even bigger target. I got Riley. don't think it's sweet. No. I don't give a fuck target you think on me. It's going to be that. But the thing is, stop acting like it's that shit easy, bro. Easy, like even with the gun on you. Yeah. Like if you ain't just got it in your hand, like it's in a book bag, a nigga just say, "Man, don't move." What are you gonna do? Right. You know, so you just gotta. It's just man, just smarter. That's the move, smart that shit, bro. You know. You stay no thin, nice. Quit thinking that you good. This remind me of the 90s. They treat me like I'm shook. It's just me versus you. I ain't tripping off your hood, but if your brother jump in, man, I wish that nigga would. Current relationship. I don't know, it's weird, bro, because I don't be talking to him. I ain't talked to him in years, but you know, all the battle rappers tell me what's said. Like, them niggas hate me. It's like, for what? <laughs> like, the last, last I heard is a battle rapper car was like, yo, they said they want to book you, but you going to, they know you're going to tell, tell, tell their business all in your rounds. I'm like, what? So, ever since I said that non disclosure in my take rock round, Hey, they be like 30,000. Come on, hit man. These niggas stay. That's why Smack made me sign a non disclosure. I get paid different. Oh Sue, this ain't a Sue Surf say his number on Twitter. And Sue Surf say with this on Twitter. Murder Mook say his round and dish you niggas every round. You say Mook, you say Smack, you say Smack, you say Mook. Nigga, we made our name off of each other. Plus, I ain't get a dollar off none of them DVDs you sold in these so to him say that, I knew exactly how Abel must have felt about his brother. Oh. Only what they gave me, nigga. Twenty thousand dollars in cash. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, but I say y'all made me sign a non-disclosure, I get paid that much. It's a big problem. I'm just up here stating the facts. This is the cheapest I've ever been paid for a match. But I thank you for that. It ain't like I'm some king on the throne. I, I just guess King of the Dot treated me the same way y'all treated Sharon. You know what? Let a nigga come to my city talking them real nigga lines. I'ma show him in my city we like to kill niggas' moms. See, all the real niggas is dead or in jail. Only a few real niggas run. I never seen a clock in a casket or cell. So in my book, Smack ain't no such thing as real nigga time. Oh, shit. Now y'all wanna know why? You can have that. That ain't even what I'm mad at. I change numbers if they can't Dow Jones. They stop drop like the NASDAQ. I pistol with your skull to Calico, get his dad back. Dad back. Dad back. Dad back. Could be more than that. I know it's more than that. Maybe. I know it's more than that. I know it's more than that, but the thing is, I was the first one to publicly have a problem with URL because. I just want to go on for certain stuff. Yeah. Not saying like, I ain't trying to sound heavy, but like me and Beasley argue all the time. Like, I want this. I deserve this. You see them numbers? This. I, I want to ask you about something, because this would mean you got on the, the radio show and talked about. Let me, let me try to remember. All right. You were supposed to battle Tay Rock way back in the day. I think you got a deposit from Harry for that. No one way back in the day. But I mean, I think before I, you battled him, though. Like, yeah. So y'all, you. They were talking about you battling Tay Rock. I think you got a deposit. I think someone was saying like it might have been around seven racks or something. Mm -hmm. You no, did or something. You didn't battle Tay Rock. They tried to switch your opponent. 
switching your opponent is t is technically a breach of contract. Mm -hmm. And that, in order for you to get the That ain't what happened, though. So, after I battled, I can't remember, I battled. Because you remember Clips and Tay Rock battled, and I think at the time, it was you, I think that you can't. So, I think he was so, in the building. See, yeah, something happened where Harry said he wanted to buy, pay, pay me to battle Tay Rock on his own league, like on his own time, whatever, one on whatever he had, yeah, not yeah. URL. EBL. Whatever, yeah. So I told Harry, I'm like, if this ain't got nothing to do with URL, give me 15000 I battled him for 15000 with you. Cool. Because I always had this thing where I taxed URL more because they did the NBA, they had the most money. That's how I always looked at it. So I'm like, all right, if it ain't got nothing to do with your rail, I'll battle him for 15000 They got nothing to do with your rail, right? He said, no, nah, I'm doing my own thing. He gave me 7500 up front. Boom. All right, cool. Um, I don't know. I think I probably did sign a contract or whatever. So he gave me that 7500 Boom. They came. We were supposed to battle. It's like April 1st or something. This is supposed to be April 1st. He came back and said he, he moved the battle. Till Jennifer April, just say May, end of May, and said it's going on URL. Mm -hmm. I said, well, I need more money. I said, me and you agreed to do your, me and you agreed to battle, me and you agreed on me battling Tay Rock on your league. I changed my mind, we battling on URL now. I said, we can still battle on URL, but I need more money. He didn't want to give me more money. I said, all right. April 1st came, no battle. I did my obligation. You gave me 7500 you're supposed to battle this day. This day passed. Now what? So if you want me to battle this day, I need more money. Or everything, I just keep the money. Okay, so since Harry was booking a lot of the battle, or paying for a lot of the battles on URL, mm -hmm. in order for Harry to pay for another battle for you because I don't think they had URL really didn't really have the money I guess to, to book you mm -hmm. so they were still getting money from Harry but because of that situation Harry didn't want to give any more money for any URL hitman battle I so they would have had to come up with that money either separately because there was that, and I think that's why there was a period of you not being on URL yeah because yeah like I told him I said man, I, I, I'm like bro he told we agreed he told me 75 he gonna give me 15 dollars 7500 up front to battle Tay Rock on this email, whatever that league was, mm -hmm. April 1st. I told him, Bill, you come back two weeks later, three weeks later, whatever you say, and say, oh, the battle gonna be with URL. That's not even the same contract we agreed on anyway. Yeah. I'm like, okay, we're gonna battle with URL. I need more money. I told you I was only doing that for you on this one off or whatever you had planned. So, when he said he wanted to give me more money, whatever, whatever, I'm like, all right, I played it cool. I'm like, all right. I knew the battle wouldn't happen, but I just waited to that date. <laughs> so I'm like, now it's April 1st. Yeah. The date here, this, what's going on? The battle, everything's breached. <laughs> yeah. We agreed on this, this ain't happening. So he's like, okay, well, give me the $7,500 back. There's no battle. I'm like, no. <laughs> Why? I wrote, I did all this shit. I'm not doing that. So if he would have hit you up and like, okay, I got another 10. Oh, whatever, yeah. Like 15, yeah, okay, let's it, play ball. That would have been cool. Okay. Yeah. Okay, I feel you. Because I told him from the jump I wasn't doing it for that number with URL. If this is your number, we good. He said, yeah, he agreed. That's, that's why they really not see Harry all the time. You know, he'd be like, I, I fucked up. I, let, me, let me ask you this. I feel like you got like a crazy legacy. People like you, Lux, Mook. You know, all these people that have put in a lot of work. I feel like y'all legacy is a story for y'all. Mook didn't even really put in the work. <laughs> we we gonna, we gonna get to that. But uh how you feel about your battle not being on YouTube if you was to go back to URL? You somebody that counts your numbers, you somebody that use it in negotiation tactics. I use it in negotiation for that anyway. If I'm not battling over there, if my battle is not gonna be on YouTube, it's uh, it's it's gonna be an even crazier number than what it's gonna be anyway. Cause I know what's going on and all that, so I don't just have time in my career to battle for no reason. Like I don't want to work all this hard and battle for nobody to really see it. Yeah. So if I really, if I'm, I'm gonna take that way, I need extra money. How niggas feel about the app, man? 
All right, keep it real. You and you, you in the brotherhood, you in the chat, man. A lot of niggas battling on the app. How, how they really feel no, about no, their no, battle not coming out? No, nobody like that. The people who got to be on the app don't like that. That's not the, I mean, it's just the truth. Like, you see my, they kind of put, they got to put my, they, my numbers go so crazy. Like, they they try, you know what I'm saying? I, I'm not sure, but then they put the me clips, good, John John about on the app first. Yeah, they put that about on the app first. Got to go on YouTube. Yeah. My number nine, that's just almost six million. Like, you gotta put Hitman Battles on YouTube. Like, that don't even make sense. You know what I'm saying? So, nobody, and then it just hurt, it hurt this whole, it hurt the culture. Yeah. For real, because the guys y'all trying to make, we already, my, my era already starts from Battle Rap. So, them not being on Battle Rap, they still got, Arsenal still got a hundred battles on YouTube that y'all go watch. These other guys y'all trying to build, just entertaining battle rap fans, and that don't help them grow. A battle rap fan already know you; you're not growing. It's all about oh, look at this. You watch battle rap? No, watch this. Ain't nobody doing it with that. Ain't nobody like yo. You watch battle rap? Watch it on the app. Ain't nobody doing it. You got YouTube like yo. You know what? Watch this. And that's what's separating the names and you know what I'm saying, stopping people from growing. So I just know like right now. I just, I'm just glad I'm from my album. Like, that's Battle Rap era rapper, man. All that, all that loud mouth I'm hit, man. I don't go for it. Yeah, you lost a fight. Swing now or get over it. I ain't, listen, listen. There was a time when you would never consider a Bill Collector battle. How did that change? Had, had you, yeah. Since y'all altercation between you and Bill, did anybody behind the scenes try to get y'all to the talk? Did y'all ever talk? No, we ain't never talked. Well, niggas Seven like, yo, years. man, you know, it's been a long time. They, he been he been campaigning for that battle a long time. I just stay away from situations that allow me to react a certain kind of way. I'd rather not battle Bill because I thought he was going to be on bullshit. We had to get the shit going on there. Then I'm bringing that to my legacy. And somebody, you know, I don't do that during battles. I don't push. I don't fight. I don't do that. So I try to stay away from those situations. But then one time, you know, so I interviewed, you know, so I just really believed in life. I'm done with it. I want to move on as a grown man. I just need closure. I took it on the chin. I don't want to fight. This isn't this and that. It's a big, I know, I know calculated steps. It's a big battle for the culture. I'm cool. But I, it took me a while to read his energy. Like his energy was like, man, I want to battle that you know, this isn't that. I just rather not do it because you're going to do something stupid. I'm going to have to punch you on stage. Or we gonna have to fight on stage. You know what I'm saying? I don't be want to do that. So if I felt his energy was off. It's like I'm cool. I ducked him a long time because it was the beef was still brewing. Like I ain't finna battle you. You gonna say something? My brother still mad? Like why? I just rather not deal with it. So when, he, when I found out the energy was good, and it was really more battle on the business tip. Then leading up to the battle, you know, he reached out. He's like, man, I don't want to battle. You no, know, um, I know you are gonna bring your guys. I'm gonna bring mine, but it ain't that. I just want to battle closure. Well, what you thought of that battle? He did good in that battle. He like, did good. Like, he did, did he, he got some on his chest, I guess. I really don't. But the thing, that's the thing. They be getting on my head by saying I don't be saying nothing. As far as like all rise and all that stuff. Then the battle, I show y'all, okay, watch this. Boom, boom, boom. And then somebody who literally didn't say one bar. It's like, make y'all mind up. No, no, you need definitely. You know what I'm saying? But he did. I, you know, I, I actually like that battle a lot. You know what I'm saying? I mean, he got a lot. Of, it, it just felt like a lot of people forgot what happened too. So he felt like he was standing up to the bully. So a lot of people was happy for him. But a lot of people understand he <laughs> was the bully in the situation. Since I don't talk about it enough, a lot of new fans just felt like I was the bully. They're like, yeah, he's standing up to the bully. It's always good when you see somebody. You know, you know, you know I was outside when y'all got into it. At the PT, you oh, walk up, Big T, Calico. You got about yeah. seven or eight people with yeah. you. Bill Collector comes up with a book bag on. Y'all say something. Bill kind of yeah. talking to you, but ignoring you. Yeah. Like he's like kind of like like this. Exactly, because I told him. Yeah, exactly, because I told him. You know when you said when you tell me something, I don't really take threats like I should rob you, or I might rob you, or whatever he said. I'm like, like we don't know. You know he was fresh out of jail. I don't really know about him. They say he got the burner. He getting to it. <laughs> right. 
right. surf and shug and disencrypt, and I'm respecting them. Out there for bait, like, see what he on. Like, what's up? And they said, I should. And was looking off, like, <sighs> so that's what that's that's what they were saying. I told him, like, bro, I ain't one of them people, bro. Like, the battle rap school don't threaten me because it's shit get real. Like, we take that seriously. So leave that alone. I'm don't threaten me no more, bro. Like, or oh, it's going down. Like, man, you don't know what's in my book bag. You threaten me again. <laughs> Yeah, so that's what happened. So we know what happened with your brother. Who's worse, man? You or your brother? Cause you know, I just talked to your brother. Your brother was like, "Man, I saw Byron, I saw Byron Blake yeah. in there, man." I was just like, "Well, what you want me to do?" I know it's show, but show more quiet. I'm more vocal. See, I'm more grown. I know, like I stop him now. Like, bro, I'm doing. You to see, you know, he don't want shit with fame. Worse than we gonna be. Leave it alone, cause we gonna take it there. Like it's no reason for us to. I'm in the best position of my life right now. I'm buying family members cars. I'm taking care of everybody. I'm buying benches off the lot. I'm this. I'm everything's going good. And you see these little niggas that want to take you back. They ain't gonna do nothing. It's gonna be me. It's my. They already hitman did it. Anything happened, hitman did it. Show do it. Hitman did it. We both in trouble. Like leave it alone. I ain't worth it. I'm, it's, hard, it's so hard for me to just let shit be because that's how I am. He said, what? He got to prove it. That's how I am. But to this shit like this, it'd be like me taking taking me off the streets and taking him off the streets. Who in the, who won that? Yeah. I got a big ass crib, four cars, putting my brother on, putting my friend on, truck business. Like I'm doing everything I always wanted to do. And I got to deal with a nigga who only have a car. At 30. What well, what do you say to people that say you're so successful? Why does any why does anything still bother you? Because it's just niggas human. Yeah. And then where I come from, it ain't it ain't still bothering me. It's just like I'm just not used to letting people lie on me. I'm just not used to letting people because I'm not that rich like Jay-Z no more they just gain. You know, Drake, them niggas got millions, like hundreds of millions of dollars. I'm still kind of be right. I ain't. I'm far away, but I'm still right there. You know what I'm saying? I'm worth five million, <laughs> but it's still a long way to go. Like even you say something, it's just niggas human, bro. So it, it's just hard. And then you just the people who know. It's like, bro, you know I'm not going for that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like I, before I got on the live, it's just like, bro, why are you lying? Like you know I'm not going for that. Like. It's like when Calico, like, this fake gangster, he fake this, and like trying to make sure I'm just like the, bro, I, you know I'm not going for that. You know I'm not this fake people person you're trying to make me seem to be. So it's hard for me to just be like, man, whatever. I, I don't work though, though. The other day is I'm the cool one, man, and I'm the one that's less drama. We gonna walk away, we gonna get this bag, you know what I'm saying? We not gonna worry about the drama. He more of the hot head, but he keep me to keep him cool. You see what I'm saying? So I kinda know how to kinda play him, man. I've been around him so long that I know exactly how to level him out. You know what I'm saying? To make sure that, yeah, like, yo, we ain't gonna, we gonna ignore that. Cause the majority of, honestly, he'll come to me and ask me, should he say things on the blog? You know what I'm saying? And I'll be like, nah, bro, you know what? We ain't gonna work, focus on that. We gonna continue to get this bag. You know what I'm saying? Because keep in mind, bro, anything he do, we got MTV and all the other big networks and stuff watching. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And he just did a, a, um, a series with BET. So, I mean, we got so much big shit going on, bro. We can't let small-minded people who trying to get to our level bring us down. Wild and Out. I'm going to talk about that. I was just talking about how you got on, on the Wild and Out. What, what, what has that done for your life? Everything. That's what took it to the next level. Because I was already pretty much as big as I was going to get in the battle rap. Battle rap got a ceiling. Mm -hmm. And having expanded and because of the decisions some leagues made or whatever, you know, it just kept it, at a, kept it right here. So when you think of battle rap, 
When you think of my name, you gonna always think of the only thing that was left to reach was what God's here. I guess that's the most biggest thing in battle rap. Right. So I was already pushing that ceiling on my way there, so I wasn't really nothing there. Wild and Out got me famous on TV. Hundreds of millions of fans. That's why my fan base is so crazy because a four year old will walk up to me, I love you. And an 84 year old will walk up to me, I love you. Because of TV. So I got that and that. Grandmas, aunties, sisters. So give, give me the percentage of what 10 people walk up to you. How many people seven, are talking to you while and out? And how many people are talking to you about battle rap? Seven while and out. Three battle rap. Nah, no doubt. I, I mess with that rock too, bro. Be, be careful. <laughs> now, much love, bro. Keep going, man. No doubt, my dude. Be easy. No doubt. I got you, my boy. How old is I, read uh, I know you got a manager and everything, and I ain't trying to count your pockets, but how do you parlay battle rap money, wilding out? How does that parlay into other stuff? Because I know you host, I know you do this. I mean, battle rap money ain't really nothing compared to all this other stuff. Recently, it's been crazy, though. Like, my, the stuff I did with ARP, the last two events, I done made more money in my entire life in battle rap than these last two events with ARP. Oh wow, that's crazy. Yeah, I done made more money in my whole battle rap career than these last two events. You know what I'm saying? So, well, this event and then coming up, I got a big check for Bill too. But you know what I'm saying? That's kind of that's a big check. But you know, I stand like I'm talking. About I got life changing money <laughs> for somebody. They came and get, and I'm gonna get more money for Kyle than I got for Kyle. And I got. Niggas can't even add that shit up and get what I got for Cassie. Niggas probably won't be able to even really do that. So I'm blessed. You know what I'm saying? But you know, wild and out. I got digital contracts. You know what I'm saying? The price I get a show, an episode went up. You know, we do 30 episodes now. Tours, 10,000 a show on tour. You do 27 of them. NBA arenas. And you get bonuses for sold out crowds. That. Then I got trucking, you know what I'm saying? My truck, one truck, 20,000 a month. One truck, got a few, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Then the hosting, the BT then other stuff. BT just came. Yeah. That's gonna be enough, like, life is good. talk down on battle rappers about only when I'm talking shit or something that made me mad I gotta talk shit. But I don't talk him really big boy with that because I came from that. I know how hard it is to get money in battle rap. I know how hard it is. I don't look down at that. I know it. I've been there. So I'm blessed. That's why I don't understand why they so mad at me. Just call me and get help, bro. Like You know what I'm saying? Like I'm always... What, niggas what, call what, me. What do, you, what, what do you feel like and I'm, I'm going to talk to about another Midwest peer. JC. Okay. Obviously, JC never had the performance you have. He hasn't been like four or five million. You holler. Mm -hmm. But JC's put in a lot of work. And I know he had a hit list. He wanted to battle Lux and he wanted to battle Verb and all these different people. And what do you, what, what would be an advice to a battler like a JC, a Chilla Jones, some of these people that put in all this work? Is it just about knowing your value and standing on it? It is. And you warn your demand out. You know what I'm saying? And that's what I used to say about Geechee. I know it's a different day of age, so you battle a lot for money or whatever, but it's so powerful. That's what make Lux and Luke so powerful. We laugh at them and be like, you got six battles and you ain't got all, like, but it's that whole now. Like, Prince of JC, 
would have just said, I can't remember who he battled, but if he just would have shut up and sat down until Lux was his next plate, because it was coming. He ended up taking two battles between that loss and choked and whatever. It's just wearing it down. It's just watering it down. He got killed by Loso. Yeah, between and, and, and he not battling people that aren't able to beat him. Like you, you really running that risk of Loso can get you up out of here. That's so, why. That's why people understand with me. Like niggas have called me with a name. Like yeah, it's a good battle name for y'all to watch. But what am I finna do this for? If I'm bringing everything to the table and he a risk. I want this amount or leave me alone. I don't. I'm not in them days no more. I'm past them days of just battling and just see who gonna win the battle. No, is this gonna bring? That's why when he brought the cast situation up, it's like I never thought about that. It's the first time you really gave me a name like myself. That class, we gonna break numbers. We are gonna break records. I told ARP that the first day he called. So are we gonna break numbers, cast in here, man. It's no. No history there for real, but it's a name on name battle. You can always win with that. Yeah. You know, so he just needed. I know it's better said than done because niggas need money. And ain't no money in battle rap, so you got a battle. You know, if I was getting 8000 in a battle, you get four up front. That's gone before you even get to the second half. So you walk away and rent with 4000 You did all that, you got 4000 Some people, some big names, you know what I'm saying, barely getting 10 It's five and five. Now they doing deals. So now it's a little better than like you 25 for three and you 10 up front. And then you got the battle, battle, battle. Rap. Like it's just battle rap is just it's no money. It could have been money if niggas was doing deals and getting money. I supposed to still be getting paid on my Arsenal battle. Like why not? It's still five million on YouTube. I should be getting that or something. Or I should have been getting, if niggas was been getting money off the pay-per-view sales, niggas would be good. Niggas would be getting six figures a battle. You know what I mean? Pay per view sales being surf, right, bro? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's just, it ain't our fault. We ain't know. We was from the streets and niggas from nothing for real and didn't have no money and niggas is ain't that, that, that why? Is that why, since I know you close to Khan and, you know, even even clips, I didn't I, I did heard a couple bad clips that turned down. Clips used to just battle all the yeah, time. Yeah, because. That's, what, that's why Khan, Khan ain't coming, coming back. Or came back in, but the yeah, Kanye don't, don't really care. Kanye don't really care for like Kanye making so much money. It's like it's you know, it'd be weird to me though. Like, I guess when you look out, it's like doing what, and I'm not saying he's not doing anything. It's okay. Yeah, but it's just like okay, I see you posting pictures on IG. Yeah. I don't see you battling. Let me give you an so example. I, Let me give you an example. Okay, this is roughly numbers. Let's just say. We just gonna throw this on my head. Just say it's five thousand. What's five thousand times thirty? One fifty, right? Probably, yeah. Uh, yeah. That's what kind. Again, of, not it's more than that. <laughs> but kind is making over that amount for episodes of Wild and Out because that's what he get per episode. I'm not saying to get five. I'm not saying to get. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Just start at that though. If you take five from that, so therefore he's getting that for that. That's there. He also got digital deals with MTV. You know what I'm saying? He also do trade stocks and that cr cryptocurrency shit and got Bitcoin and you know what I'm saying? Hundreds of thousand dollars in that. Like, you gotta understand a nigga can have three, four hundred thousand dollars in a bank and they don't need battle rap. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, not really saying whatever he got, but a nigga got. A hundred thousand in the bank. You don't need battle rap yeah. to to really go at it. If you, if you got a hundred thousand, you making money still. He don't have to do it. So he get money. He still do shows. He still get. He's still a TV star. So having all that money <laughs> and then keep doing it, back, keep in it back, just about it's running. just like yeah, you gotta want to do it. I want to do it because I make the same kind of money as kind. I just love. I get a bag like this. And I still feel like I'm competing. And I feel like I'm still better than everybody. I do it. There's just two different mindsets. Kind of awesome, man. If I come back, we didn't talk about it. It's whatever. I'm awesome, nigga. Who next? It's just different mindsets. You know what I'm saying? And Clips now got his 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 OG fame, OG status on the show. Getting you know what I'm saying? Getting more per show tours and get, you know what I'm saying? He's able to digital deals too. He's stacking up too. So he like now he can be like. At first, you know, he had a gambling problem. You know, gambling, losing money and shit. Like, give me this battle. Give me $8. I'll take it just to gamble. 
So a lot of that shit now nah, he like, I'm cool, I'm good. Alright, before we before we leave uh while and out, what's something about Nick Cannon we don't know? What one of the misconceptions of Nick is because he was a child star that he's like not street, yeah, soft. Yeah, he's you know. definitely none of them. I mean, that's the thing, like, you know what I'm saying? Nick a fight, it's just his people get this generation, if you ain't game banging you know, or if you ain't holding guns and pictures and all that, they ain't gonna think you they don't think you soft anyway. You know what I'm saying? Like they can't not fight if he had to. He's just been rich all this. He don't have to. Like as a man, like as a, you get, people forget niggas are men. Yeah, he didn't. He didn't put a lot of niggas on, and I think he should be. Everybody kind of know that though. He he put he done made hundreds of black millionaires. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? He's making every all of us come. He help. I, I'm not a millionaire from battle rap. It help. You can say I'm a millionaire from battle rap, but basically TV helped me. Get to where I need to go, cause of Nick. If they had brought Wildin' Out back without Nick, would you have done it? No, no, it makes sense. Especially when since I would have did it, then they fired me the next year. <laughs> yeah. So I just been on lawyer for nothing. Like you know what I'm saying? Like it don't even make sense. Like oh, it don't even work. Like he put me on, he ain't there. I did what I did. If I ain't if I ain't get what I needed to get in these eleven seasons, he had me. You know what I'm saying? What two more seasons are you gonna do without him? That's gonna put me over the edge. Like it don't make sense. Like he got me here, he ain't back. Okay, it was a great run. Let me go off to see what else I can do. Before we get to one of the last, we got a couple more topics. Before we get to the Cassie battle, uh, I know you asked you asked him to come to come to your battle. So was that um? Well, I really I ain't asked him. Okay. This is what happened. So the guy Chuck I was telling you about. From Bay, the big dog, you know, his manager. He saw Cassidy interview. It was like, why niggas worried about who the f is about now? Why Nick Cannon ain't come to your battle when this distance was going in? He sent that to Nick. And Nick was like, I thought it was obvious. Niggas don't think I fucking hit man. <laughs> you know, I thought it was book the flight. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's a tag I can show you. Like, book the flight. Like, that's easy. Like, that's what niggas talk about. <laughs> and he's just like, I'll be there. He went to go see Mariah and said, yo, let me know what time I need to pull up to the venue. It was easy. Yeah. But the thing is, I don't bring Nick into this environment because I don't need him here. Yeah. I need Nick in the TV life and to show me that. I don't need Nick Cannon and no battle rap because y'all ain't going to do shit but hate and do what y'all did here. I just brought a mole on a battle rap stage. A nigga who's Mariah Carey's baby father. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Nick Cannon, the mogul. The nigga who put a 200 million niggas on and him and I brought him. And then I saw niggas say, yo, he's disrespectful saying baby, but Mar Mar Mariah, that's a, a funny joke, meaning that's how heavy he is. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I, just, I like just saying Beyonce husband. We all know. Jay Z. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, but it just, we just letting you know how important I brought this man on a battle rap stage in a pandemic. Yeah. Facts. And y'all found ways to hate on that. That's why I don't bring shit. I don't point. And I, why would I do that? I mean, yo, I love oh, you, you lost your third round. You, yeah. Oh, Chief, you're done. Me. That's why Nick Cannon was there. Nick Cannon came but to see me. That's how you lost. Nah, you know, he was there to see me. <laughs> right, let's, let's talk about Cash real quick. Man. Um, was it hard to write for him? Yeah. No, no, no grudge match. Yeah, really no, normally, you, normally it can be the I, I'm more popular. I got more money than you. I, it normally, was still the, that. normally the little boys it was still that. But normally the little boy is like <laughs> really, really heavy. I know. And the thing is, it was still that, but his fans wouldn't allow that anyway. Like he ain't been doing nothing in 15 years. So they weren't even allowing that anyway. So it wasn't really hard to write for him. It's just like his fan base don't care. You bring a lot of fan base from battle. It don't matter what's said or what. You understand? They're still praising him for his performances and they people still it's like he ain't really do good. Well, let me tell you my critiques. Mm -hmm. I'm always keep it real with you. My my critique was I said, well, damn, you know, if Hitman knew that Nick Cannon was gonna be there, he should have went second and just shut it down because they went crazy when Nick came out. If it can be ended that way, it's a little bit bigger than having a great first round. Anyway, I don't think that matter because his third was still boring. So they ain't cry anyway. <laughs> okay, let me tell you the other critique. Uh, I'm gonna be mad, man. I had you winning the battle 2-1, but I did not like 
that you let all these narratives be controlled, man. Mm -hmm. And you was you was unwilling. Now I ain't gonna say unwilling. You just didn't do interview. I ain't gonna say unwilling because mm -hmm. I don't know niggas ashing. You said no, so I won't say unwilling. But I know, like even dealing with my situation and being locked up and getting out, like narratives can that's not true can control a lot of stuff. Mm -hmm. And why why did you allow the narrative to go along? Shout out to check the temperature. I know you did an interview with him, but why did you? Allow that narrative to be controlled because I was in a lose lose. So once I saw myself in the lose lose, it's better if I just say this because no matter what I say, they flip it. And I mean, literally anything. Example. Okay, tell, tell me. Everybody laughed and said, everybody laughed at Cassie when he said, the kid ain't cool with you. You was a fucking flunky. This is it. Everybody, oh, no. I bring the kid. Everybody, why you bring him? Example, Cass say, oh, you know, Nick, um, what did he say? The narrative with the, um, the first round, the first round he say, what round he say? The, the ball, I mean, the ball, I mean, the ball that was first. Yeah. Example, he say, what he say, I signed his ball. I tell him. It was a rap battle, this and this and that. It's, oh my God, no you didn't. It don't need to battle because he signed your squad and you ain't win no rap battle. I can't win that. I go on the internet on an interview and say, yo, I don't, this is the reason why I did such and such. This is, this is the reason why I didn't do the interview with Tim. I'm like, this is the reason I didn't do the interview. I didn't want to do an interview because anything I say, they gonna say, oh, you're making excuses. But fuck, I'm gonna do the interview. I did interview, did our interview, what they say. Oh my God, he's complaining. He's still talking about the face doll. He's still this and that. Cassidy say, yeah, um, the niggas on stage um, can't even get past one person. That's how tough we are, whatever he said. I tell niggas, I told niggas don't do nothing. I need to get my money. You hear me saying it on the camera. Yo, don't touch him, don't do nothing. Let me get my bag. <laughs> I gotta get paid. I gotta get paid. Cassidy, everything I say, they had something to flip it. Every single thing. So it's like, man, what am I talking for? It's gonna come to a point to like everything I say, they flip it and laugh. What nerd have you here? I'm probably leaving out a nerd. Um, <clears throat> you you covered most nerd. I'm trying to I think because there was some narratives leaving the whole. Uh, I mean, this I'm mean, leaving the battle. I don't really do interviews anyway. But leaving the battle, I didn't do an interview. It's like I don't really ever do. You like there was a narrative about you going to get your bag because Cassie was like, "Well, if my niggas was really on that type of time. You would have not. You would have got shot before you got the bag." Exactly. As yeah. if to say, like, I came your bag should your bag should have been on you. Exactly. As if I came there knowing it was a problem. Now, I, I I bring my gun in my bag everywhere. Yeah. I, it wasn't. I didn't bring it for that. It was over there. Once it got to that. I went to get it. I didn't go in there with the bag like I wish a nigga would. I shoot this motherfucker. I didn't do that. I came in there my bag a little bit, boom. He starts saying, well, his niggas in there gonna do to me. I'm by myself. I came here to let you talk crazy. I didn't come here to let you say what your niggas gonna do to me, Paul. So I got my bag and set it by me. And niggas still like, oh my God. He, his bag all across the room and should have been on him. Like for what? Like I was, they was gonna let me have it regardless. I came in, I kept the bag right now, he extra. He got through an interview with the bag. I can't win, bro. How do you feel about people saying that because you didn't retire him, you lost? I mean, that's a narrative that I gotta fight and that, that is not fair. Yeah. But I, I take the blame for it. Like, cool. I see my threats and shit on my shit the way to promote the battle. They really take key to it. Like, they really listen to what I say. That's why I say, if I tell Calico, nigga, you won't have one hot bar. If you have one hot bar, they go, he got one boy he won. They do that to me. Yeah. So since so since he get booked again, that's the they not really saying he even won the battle. It's like he get booked again. He ain't do as bad as we thought it was. Or his first round was good, and they I'm fighting those nerves. So I just tell myself, okay, since I'm in Van Holler and they really want to treat me like that, I'm just not gonna say nothing. I got another narrative for you. What's one? You are the professional battle rapper. He is the industry coming back into battle rap. How can the professional battle rapper 
have a close battle with an industry coming back into battle rap because of that. How do you feel about the grading on a curve? Because in my opinion, there's somebody I could still give it to just because someone who's a professional battle rap, but battle rapper was not on their fucking job. They always do that because they make your mind up. Is he a new battle rapper? Or oh, he's the one that's been doing it for 20 years, as y'all said. Right. A thousand and all. But then when he battled me, like, oh, is this only his third one? So he's getting back right. I can't win, especially with his fans. That's another thing. When I saw his fans, he kind of got like an Eminem type stand fan base. It's like, I might as well don't even say nothing. It, listen, they literally laughed at him for telling me Nick Cannon's a flunky to me. I'm, I'm a flunky to Nick They laughed. Like, they literally got all oh, this. I brought Nick Cannon. They killed me. Why are you bringing him? You think you tired? Why are you bringing him? I, I'm like, this is crazy. So I'm just like, okay, you know what? Y'all can have it. Well, what, what, did you, what did you learn from the Cassie battle? How they, how they treat me. They treat me since, my, since they look at my name so hard, everything I say, they try to use against me. It's like LeBron. Like LeBron can say something and they go use it against him. So me saying I'm going to retire him, and everybody knows it's really battle rap talk, but I plan on trying to kill him like that for real. So it don't matter because it's battle rap. I mean, it's other people. But since it was him, they gave him a reason. To, everybody want to see me lose. I'm the only battle rapper you just can't say. You can't put up a battle and just watch me get smoked. So everybody can't wait to say, give me a loss. So since you can't say, oh my God, you ain't killing me. Like he won. Because they, they can say it. It's like, oh, we can't wait to say it. Don't give a what happened. Since he's going to get booked again, they grading off that. And it's just like, I see what happened. So now I know I'm just going to go in the interviews and just be cool. And then they're going to be like, oh, if I go in the face off and just be like, let Calico bark. And I just be like, for sure, you got it. Oh, he didn't do that to Calico. He knew better. By going on there and act an ass and act a fool. Oh, he's a threat to the culture. He's emotional. You can't, he's a threat to the environment. Like, Cassidy had people believing that I'm a threat to the culture, but I got 35 battles that all made it through with not one fight on stage. But had people thinking, oh, he can't control his anger. They love the verse, sure. Man, sure got up, nigga. What the game made all that? What's the difference? You think Cassie was acting like that just because he had a lot of people with him? Like I'm gonna let my hands fly and I don't know, but that's what I'm saying. Let me would have turned down the nigga fade. Let, let a nigga told me it got like that. And they said, "Well, come on, let's go." Let me would have not went out. They gonna crucify me. Let me bring a security on stage. They're going to crucify me. Let me stand behind my niggas while shit happen. They're going to crucify me. They allow shit to happen to others who they want it to happen to. It's just great. Can you imagine? Yeah. Like, can you just do anything? The situation would be, picture me, no matter what, not saying why he did it or nothing. Imagine me hiding behind a tree. Do you know what they're going to do to me? Crucify me. And they don't, they don't play right with a couple. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I just like, this is how it is. Let me say these names. Uh -huh. Big T, Gishi Gotti, Pat Stay, Bill Collector, Daylight, Goods, Mav, Rosenberg Raw, Calico. All say you lost. Is that what's the reason you feel that? Say the first name. I did a Big T right. Mook. No, 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 no. I'm talking to one on one. Oh, Big T. Big T. Big T <laughs> don't like me. Okay. He's from the Midwest and he's not where he's supposed to be his career wise. It's easy to well, let's try to put him down. I wish I was there. So Math. Math be hating on me for the last five years. You won't do a show, expert opinion? Won't do it. I don't <laughs> know what it is. I don't know what it is. Man, Harvard got out of 20 of his little shows, 16 of them, he's dissing me on. Okay. 
Obviously, we know Mook and Cal. Geechee. Yeah. Geechee. Want a battle coming up? Want to want to possibly get a match? So it's easy to say, I'm a troll hit man. He lost. Cause okay. for him to be a battle rapper like he is and to say, and he was on the he was on he was in Geechee. He was in uh, Cassie Airbnb too. Okay. So they cool. They like. He was what's, in, what's he, y'all history? He was in the Airbnb too. Before that, everything never had. I mean, I don't play. really. Know what I mean, so I know somebody asked you, "Was you battle day?" Like he was like, "Hell no, nah, he played too much." Played too much. Yeah. yeah. He probably don't like that coming. Good. He was in, he been in St. Louis hanging out with you before. Y'all, you look good. He used to be cool. What was that? We ain't cool no more. Oh, what happened? It was cool. Like, I mean, we can edit around if you don't want to. Yeah, but he just, he just, certain stuff, how he go about stuff and what he chooses to say. Like, he just real, his aura and shit. Like, he just come off as a hater. You know okay. what I'm saying? Like, he just certain stuff. Well, know? everybody else is pretty much Philadelphia people as far as easy bill collector Rosenberg Rock. Yeah, like, my God. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> All right, people that say you won, I mean, just off top, search, Ill Will, Rock, Sean, Low Soul, et cetera, et cetera. Why niggas hate on you so much, man? Because when you just look at my battle rap history, bro, there's really no flaws. No, I mean, why? I'm telling you, Not fans, I mean, period. No, That's what I want you to do. When you look at my battle rap history, like, there's really no flaws. So, when my peers see where I'm at and they know, man, who got classic battles? Hitman. Who got classic moments? Hitman. Who get paid the most? Hitman. Like, so do you feel that if Khan came back and he was like, they said conceited versus run media set up? They, they and hate Khan on was, Khan already. Khan don't even tweet about Robert Lennon. They hate on Khan all day. Khan, you can't survive. This is that bull. Like, they don't give him a chance. Yeah. They hate on him. Just, he's too successful. Just to my prayers, I'm going to be around and talk to him. I don't want to speak to these niggas, you know what I'm saying? I just go about my business. And they don't like that. You know, so I just come with an extra fucking. So who you cool with? I mean like like after John John, who would be maybe two or three battle rappers that you pretty cool with? That meant that Charlie Clips not... He can be one. Uh, Clips. I mean Charlie Clips, John John, Surf DNA, Suge. Okay. K Shine. All right. X Factor. Now, this is a question I want to I got cool. I got cooler with Ace I mean, though. Believe it or not. Like, but, it, you know, he kind of apologized. I told him, like, bro, like, I like your character. Like, you remind me of me as far as, like, back against the wall, fucker. Like, I said, they got to get a chance to fuck with you because you came in dissing me for no reason. Like, man, that's my fault, bro. You're right. Like, he a cool dude, though. You know what I'm saying? We got to chop it up. Like, he a cool nigga. I understand his point of view and shit, you know what I'm saying, then was back to him and John John, I got, got over to their situation, you know what I'm saying, like, cool ace, I mean, low so. Hit me talking, look in a different kind of bag. Throw this off so it was good, so a different kind of cash. Yeah. This cannon put you in a different kind of cash. Oh, you retired? That's a different kind of man. Ryan, baby daddy, really? Wait, he didn't just give a pound to Cassie, did he? You let somebody shake and rush off in a battle beat you. Can you imagine how bad I beat you? I'm bad to beat you. Cake mix bad to beat you. Mike Jackson bad I beat you. Back in the day, I used to hear a movie speak pretty highly of you. Rex too, because it seemed like y'all y'all always been pretty cool or whatever. That wasn't even like a rumor like you was like low key dot mob. Was niggas ever trying to get you to be dot mob or like uh, okay. All right. Mm-hmm. Well maybe that man I don't know where I got that from. I think it was a uh, interview and Rex was on the phone like ball game dot mob or something like oh, yeah, yeah, that. Yeah, or something, that was. something like that. Yeah. I see I see you're very uh disrespectful about Mook and his legacy in battle rap. I actually look at Mook pretty highly in battle rap, and I, I do. I'm not saying he can't be beat, but I, I Mook kind of got me into battle rap. Your boy ain't won me on URL, so Red Breed was the medium to cater the plate. This beef about to get done well. Y'all about to see the vegan that made a mistake. <laughs> See the vegan that made a mistake, do him greasy, finger licking, savor the taste, talking Beasley, smack niggas, stay in your place. Do you really think Mook is bad as you say, say he is? Did you, did you watch him a lot? It ain't about as bad as I said, as bad as I think he is. It's just like his track record don't 
match. That's just the truth. Did you watch him? How many? Like, I mean, that's his first good battle in five years. No, I mean, what? What did you think of that? That was a good. That was a good performance. But if you put somebody who can rap, you know what I'm saying, in a room with nobody, it's gonna always sound good. Okay. If it was that easy, he would sound that good versus Iron. He would have sounded that good versus Verb. He would have sounded that good versus, like he just don't do good in front of people. He just don't do good in front of people. Like look at his battles. I'm like, man, give me some classy move battles. You're gonna have to go way in first young high. Like that was like, give me some classic. If I tell you, give me classic surf rounds or or battles, you gonna give me five. I tell you Verb. If I tell you Tay Rock. If I tell you clips. You gonna boom, boom, boom easily. I say moot, what you gonna say? Give me some classic moot battles. Rock. And you gotta see. Serious Jones. <laughs> and you went from rock to, you went from 2020 <laughs> to 2000 and what, seven? Six? Yeah. That's crazy. That's all we be saying. He wasn't battling though. I mean, let, I mean, what, what like, he, let, what like he was in the field. And he okay, was, okay, he won battle, but he still got five, six battles before the series, before you can get nah, to nah, series. Nah, you're right. Jay that's Mills, what I'm saying. Jay Mills, Jay Mills, yeah. Man, that's, like, that's what I'm saying. Like, the nigga really stink. When we put the nigga we got, y'all say it's Jordan, don't even have four classic games. Especially this era. All the shit off camera. What, what do you think about Lux? I respect Lux more. His resume kind of stink too, but Lux was outside in the field, though. Mm-hmm. As far as like, when I say stink, I mean like as far as like as much as we battle. But he still came and battled surf. He still came and battled clips, hollow, arsenal. Like he still, whether it was like classic performance, he still is outside. Okay. Like Luke wasn't even outside, and then when he do come outside, it be stink. So it's like, why are we praising him again? You know, it's all like, you can't even give me really five classic move rounds. Mm. Like, you're going to say AI, you're going to say the AI bar that round, if that. Smack called me, I was getting some head. <laughs> you're going to go back to 2006, bro. Like, look where we going, man. Like, 2006, bro. Shout out to Luke, man. God damn it. All right, let's switch gears. All right, man. Um, welcome back, man. That was the shortest retirement you ever had, man. How, how did you feel about niggas saying you were Cassie retired, man? That's a I mean, I, That's what I'm saying. Like, it's to the point you can't go online and show me where I said I retired at, and then still run with it. So, Chris, what am I talking for? <laughs> Yeah. Like it's nowhere online where I said I'm retired or gonna retire. I me hit me, hopefully I see you retired. I see you he don't really want that smoke, so yeah. you know, salute to whatever you're doing in his endeavors, you know what I'm saying? He's saying he's still in it, you know what I'm saying? He said, he said uh, he's come off a bridge or something I seen him say, so you know, like I love to see that battle high energy. Yeah. And niggas 20 bloggers hit casual Like, it's just me. They only do that because it's me. They get views and clicks and anything. Cal- Calico said he brought you back. Like, what are you talking about? I was already planning on battling Briz. How you bring me back? Calico, you the seventh option. Calico is literally, I turned down this battle 10 times. Well, why, 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 were, uh, why were you turning it down? Because I stay away from situations like these. Calico, well, 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 tough. Hold on, let, 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 me, let, me, let, me, let me play devil's advocate. What would you say to people that Calico is a bigger name than Briz? Calico is a bigger name than Briz. But it's not as hot as Briz is right now, or was right now. It's a difference. Okay. Rex is a bigger name than a lot of people. But since it's been gone, we like people who want to see the new guys. You know what I'm saying? The, the fines. You know what I'm saying? Like it's about, they may not bigger than Rex, but they're hotter than Rex. It's meaning as far as battle rap. Calico haven't been done. Like his last two on two, stink. Him and Verb was cool. That's the best of the other day. Like he don't have, what his last. Besides Bird, when was his last decent showing? He did who Calico? Yeah. Ill Will. After his last. When was that? That was uh. Twenty. It might have been twenty nineteen, eighteen, something. 
Like he just don't really man, he didn't have a full battle stretch where he just like Go 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 watch that battle, man, if you ain't seen man, since you you battle college. He was in his bag that battle. I ain't gonna front. He was in his bag. Kind of crazy shit, bro. All that poetry shit. Like you was doing that, I was doing that. I had the birds. You can have the birds I had. I was on the curb with it. My turn with it. my dad had the chirp chirp with it. <laughs> <laughs> Me, this, 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 let, let me ask you this. Let, let me say this. Why battle rappers don't give other battle rappers more credit? And when I say this, there was a time when obviously y'all were cool. I know you had to look at Calico and think. Well, I was cool when he was he was doing good. Okay, all right. Let, okay, at least you admitted that. I I, I kind of hate when niggas be like, man, so and so trash, and no, I'd be like, yo, I remember, no, I don't no, remember when, when he when I was cool when he was doing good because he had the right energy. Around me. Okay. You just did the round. Yeah. He had the right. He was doing good. The jealousy and the envious, no, nah, that shit start coloring his mind. He just start getting weird. And he just. So you think off. he got like a poetry mixtape flow now? He only, like, he just. I don't know what's up. That's a big K. Does he present. Do he, do he present any challenges in a couple weeks? The hitman, he woke up, man, this boy. <laughs> I ain't even say nothing. No, I can't even say nothing. <laughs> you can't even say nothing. I can't, right. even, I can't even say nothing, man. How many more battles we got after this, man? Can we get a re can we get a re can we get a Geechee battle? A rematch with goods? A Briz? You got one you got one more in you after this? Two more in you maybe? Um I mean Briz count. You can kind of miss that train. Okay. I went on him twice. No, I feel you. I was supposed to battle him before cast, then after cast. Just playing like, there's an excuse. I'm so cool with that. I mean, I ain't really, I ain't really got no talking to nobody. I'm just chilling there. I'm like, see, I got the BT shit coming out. Why I'm not coming out to I'm probably chilling. All right, man. No niggas going to say you're chilling. That's a retirement. So, uh, so they gonna say that I say <laughs> that's what I'm saying. I cannot say nothing. They gonna say I'm retired. Mook, you know Mook just spoke. He was locked in for this one. I'm not down. I don't know who he. He's fucking word off. These niggas are word offs. So are you, are you saying he, he did he duck you for Reed? He was he's supposed, he's supposed to be here July 10th. That's what you're telling me. Listen to me. He had the contract with my name on it. I had the contract with his name on, it, which means. I I came to an agreement with ARP what number I wanted and this. He came to an agreement with ARP what number he wanted and this. Sent the contract Monday. He went to go hang out with Cassidy Friday. He got back to where he was at Monday and told ARP, oh, I'm cool. He lost to Cassidy. I don't want to battle. Weirdo shit. Like, niggas be weird like weirdos, bro. Mm. But then after that, this me in a whole verse. Really? You see how weird that is? You duck the battle, but then drop a song and you diss me the whole verse. What you think about Reed Dollars? Did, he, did, did Mook take an easy battle? I am be lying. I don't, I, don't, I don't like him battling Reed Dollars. I don't think that's a great battle. I, I know it's a legacy battle. Like I know it might mean something for New York and Philly, but uh, I don't know. I just, I just watch clean. I just watch clean and Reed battle a one round, and I got clean one in that battle. Oh, I mean, Reed ain't good to me. Okay. All right. Before we get out of here, man, what you want the fans to remember you by when it's all said and done, man? One thing I want to give you credit for before we leave, a lot of your peers, I feel like, fell off. And um, a lot of people battle a lot, but don't always give 100%. I know sometimes it's hard, like the money outweighs the willingness to want to battle people. But one thing I can say about you is you haven't always chased the money. And the second thing is how you're remembered in a battle matters to you, which I wish more battle rappers were like that and they're not. So what do what you, what it, when it's all said and done, where do you put yourself in battle rap? Mount Rushmore? Are you Mount Rushmore right now? I mean, when you, when you, when you take everything into consideration, I ain't really close. Was he gonna talk numbers with me? Who 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 else up there with you? Yeah, we know you. We know you. I know we know your respect on move. Just ask this. Ask this before we do this. Who can really talk to me with 
numbers, impact, longevity, classic performances, win-loss ratio, the wins over the best competition. Right, like when it comes to all that, some niggas be having this, but you got a lot of this. But I'm like all the way across the board on every single thing: star power, consistency, classic battles, classic world matches. Numbers is unheard of. Like when you look at Hitman Holly, it's nothing you can flaw. You know what I'm saying? I don't really have bad battles. My bad battles and bad performances is shit like they say with Cash and it, which is better than niggas 70% of niggas' whole resumes. <laughs> look at my bad battles they say. A nigga still would watch that and see my first round and my third round and be like, what? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, it ain't, these niggas ain't really got that. I just asked yeah, you to move. You went from 2020, you went from 2020 to 2006. And a lot of these niggas like that. And I'm still here. I headlined in 2010, I'm headlining in 2021. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so that shit, that's really like, it's starting to get him disrespectful asking about this. I just want, I just want to know who 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 else on that on if we were doing a rush more who else up on there with you, just in yours. We know we know where you are on Mook. I only got two man, me and Verb man. Right, Everybody <laughs> clips, me Verb clips. Okay. If you want to do that, me Verb clips, and well, it could be me Verb clips and Austin. All right. Okay. It'd be me Verb clips and Austin. That's a good list. All right, I'm going to get you out of on, on this, man. July 10th, you versus Calico. Does Hitman lose that battle? I should say, yeah, you know why? So now they won't have no nerve. <laughs> like, yeah, man, I'm lost. And then they be like, oh, he did. I hate these niggas, bro. But this shit, listen. If you got... Ten thousand dollars to see your name. Bet that on him, man. If you got a hundred dollars to your name, bet that on him, man. It's your boy Hitman Holler. Y'all wanted it, y'all got it. Untold truth with my boy Chris Unbiased. Ball game.